the Absalom ring sits at what has been just regarded as the center of the universe. On this ring, there are towns and cities just littered all over it. Uh, this large satellite, essentially, sits around a large black hole that is continuously consuming all known magic and arcana and all, anything mystic directly into it so that nobody in the entire known universe has access to these magical arts. Our story is a couple years before uh, the story that we told a few months ago <laughs> of, of the crew of the CS Verity. This is... About two years before Aster and before Aster joins, before Gizmo joins the crew as well, and before Chip even boots on. This is Secrets Between the Stars, Cat's Cradle. You guys are all lorries who have been called for a very sudden and random job. Today, it's very weird that today is the day that you would get a job because normally office officials and higher ups have this federal holiday off this is just known as true day uh it is a day to celebrate a hero that once was millennia ago and it's just to celebrate them and their acts so everyone takes the day they celebrate there's parades often outside there's just huge celebrate there's i keep saying the word celebrations there's huge parties there's barbecues there's block parties there's everything like that you guys get called to a restaurant that is dirty but beloved by many called Shrimp's Fried Rice, where a large shrimp in the back continuously cooks fried rice for everyone. You would know this as your base of operations as a lorry. You are the black ops corporate espionage of this world. You are hired to do intense crimes like robbery, exploitation, blackmail. This man's laughing and I'm going to keep moving on. <laughs> exploitation, blackmail, assassination even, murder, anything along those lines, you get called into the basement of it by a man named Barthin Praytel, who is still alive and playing, practicing his piano. <laughs> so, <laughs> he sits oh. behind a desk in this concrete room that has maybe three filing cabinets behind a, he sits in a concrete room, filing cabinets with a mahogany desk uh, right in front of him. He is leaning back in this large leather chair, has a huge, huge cigar that he is just puffing away on. As he's sitting there, you all walk in. Describe who comes into the room first and describe yourself and uh, uh, what you look I like. Think, I think Clem would come in first. She likes to be on time, uh, meaning early. Um, and so, uh, you know, she would come in, her Doc Ock arms basically being legs for her because <coughs> she is so small. Uh, so like she, uh, with the L-Fan system, she's like maybe a foot and a half <laughs> tall, um, but by herself, she's a foot tall. So it's, it's enough of a difference. Um, and she would come in, breathe in the smoke and just, <coughs> Bart, you, you got to quit those things. They're going to kill you. You can ask all you want. It ain't going anywhere. To, to, I can promise you that. And he takes another huge drag of it and just blows it in the air, trying to do rings and failing like, horribly. <laughs> Who walks in next? Hmm. Yeah, so uh, Jez walks in, and uh, she uh, is got this white flowy hair, and she's just dressed in like a casual shirt and really nice pants, and she just walks in and just kind of stands to the side, doesn't say anything. As as you walk in, it go, he goes, pleasure to meet you. I assume you're here for the job. Of course. Good. That'd be weird if you weren't. <laughs> and he goes back to smoking. Who's the next person that walks in? Suddenly, uh, a, a strange earthy aroma starts to enter the room and mm. some thumping footsteps come through as Moss Thornbrook walks in. <clears throat> Big old mushroom cap on his head with uh, lengthy arms and legs. And while most tortoise are usually around four and a half feet, he's a whopping four foot seven. So, you know, above okay. average. <laughs> and as he walks in, he simply states, Moss is here. Excellent. 
<laughs> and he keeps smoking. <laughs> who's, oh, okay. who's the next? Uh, I'll probably come in behind Moss. Um, so I'm an indifferent. So I'm a humanoid that can shape shift and uh, manipulate my body. I got super elastic skin. Um, I'm tall and slender compared to my husband Moss. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of, I'm attracted to short men. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, and so really tall, slender, um, I can shape shift, and uh, I walk in, and I'm really kind of inquisitive and like very sketch about certain things. I find uh, it kind of hard to trust, so this place is looking and super sus to me, the concrete walls, the filing cabinet, so uh, I'm Serafina. What's going on? Hi. Uh, what was your name again? Serafina. Serafina. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, you're welcome. I, I see you shifting a little bit. If you want to search the place for bugs, you can. Uh, just don't go through this filing cabinet down here. That's full of top secret documents and nice cigars. <laughs> I'd rather not lose those. Hmm. Quick, top get, the cigars. get the cigars and get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls a gun. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know I'm joking, Bart. You know okay. I'm joking. Okay. He does like a twirl with it. <laughs> he holsters the gun. Uh, what are they put finally, in your cigars. Jeez. <laughs> I come in quietly. Come at last. I'm the shadow that follows Bonnie! everybody in. Uh, just kind of quietly keeping an eye on everything going on. I uh, kind of ruin your quiet entrance because I'm like, Volley! Yeah. <laughs> he like holsters the gun, looks up and sees you and goes, Jesus! <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you start doing that. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, good. Great to see you too, as always. <laughs> hey, Volley. Oh, my God. Announce your presence next time. All right. Uh, awesome. Well, this is the crew. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, sorry to pull you in on such short no notice on a holiday. This is, I don't like your client this time. I'm gonna be 100% honest. He's kind of a tool uh, and he's kind of weird. And he leans down to that drawer that he mentioned earlier and he pulls out like a laptop. And he goes, he normally, you know, I give you the, lo the lowdown on this, but he requested and he's paying the money. So he, he lifts up the laptop. Uh, and as the screen boots up, you see the Pantheon logo flash for just a moment as uh, you see a drow, or I'm sorry, an elven man uh, sitting there. He's younger looking, probably 46, and he's got uh, slicked back hair and very young facial features. He's got a button up that doesn't quite fit him fully. And he's got, you see on the wall behind him, this is clearly like an office and it's got like, kind of toys and trinkets on the wall rather than just general neutral office materials. And he goes, thank you so much for joining me today. He does this. <laughs> he goes, thank you. I welcome you to this exciting job that I presented for you today. Well, bless your heart. This is a recording. <laughs> so. Uh <laughs> I need to know, is is the, is the shirt too tight or too big? Too big. Okay. Way too big. It is like daddy's clothes. Uh, and he goes, a recent man who, I'm not even going to say his name, has done horrible wrongdoings to me, and I want you to make this man pay, okay? This man is the most vile, sickening, disgusting. And you see Barthen lean over and he just hits the next button on the laptop of it. And he's like, he goes on. He goes on for like a while. Like, you don't want, like, this is nothing. Uh, and you see. Bless his heart. Quickly, he's just kind of like flailing around. And as that's fast forwarding, Barthen uh, goes, okay, I, that's enough. <laughs> and he closes it. And then he goes, what you're going to meet, you need to do. There's. The parade is happening outside. It is, it's true day today. So today, there's going to be a massive parade outside true. of one of the Ram major corporations that, uh, one of the main headquarters that is downtown. Uh, you will need to sneak in, and there's going to be three things you have to do. This man recently got a lot of good credit in Ram, and our just lovely, lovely man, uh, Dalton has decided that he wants to ruin that guy's kind of status quo that he's built for himself. There is an employee lounge that was recently renovated. He wants you to destroy that. 
just ruin it, wreck it, make the place look bad. In Dalton's office, there is a small wooden box that he keeps on a shelf behind his desk. It means something, I guess. I don't know. He asks that you please get the box and bring it back. And finally, so that he can use this on company time, he's going to have you guys use this, and he hands you, a, hands one of you, whoever takes it, it's up to you. I'll take it. Cool. He hands you a little flash drive that you see. It, it's about this big, like a couple inches big, but on it is a a larger touch screen uh, that, like, that, that is like implanted onto the back of it. And Barthen goes, he wants you to, there's a security office with a security guard in there. He wants you to distract that man for a while, enough so that you can implant this into the like large database they have in there and just steal some random files and stuff so that it looks like you did something worth the time, essentially. Mm. I hate this guy. I fully, I hate, I hate this guy so much. Yeah, he seems a little green to be partaking in this business. Absolutely, like a daddy's money type kind of guy, yeah. like Nepo baby to the maximum. You and like, he's gross. Yeah. So we need, I just need you to sneak in, get all that stuff, sneak out. The it's problem is security's gonna be a little weird. The parade is happening directly in front of the building. So we can't have you really walking in directly from the front because they are expecting people to get a little rowdy, try to get in, do do some collateral damage. You don't even really want people walking in just to like enjoy the air conditioning. God forbid. So, we will be dropping you on the roof and you will be sneaking downwards and then you will walk out the lobby that way. Then you blend in with the crowd, you sneak in, do what needs to get done, sneak into the crowd and get out. And that's it. Pretty easy. Sounds solid. I like it. Is Dalton... Good. <laughs> Excellent. Is Dalton an alias? I'm kind of wondering who this person is we're going after a little bit more. Could you, I do a culture check to see if I know anything about him? Because I, uh, uh, I have the corporate agent oh, backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yes. Um, you would know normally that they don't give you aliases. It's kind of like the agreement where you are, they're giving you their real names for you to be doing these like extremely dangerous jobs. Okay. All right, so that is a 14 on the die, plus six, and then because of my uh, corporate agent background, I get another plus five. So 25 so, total. Yeah. All right, you know Dalton is absolutely Nepo baby. Complete, like just using his dad's money to get privileges in this company. His dad is way high up, like on the board of Ran uh, or of Pantheon, rather. He, his dad is just this hoity-toity, uh, old old money kind of guy. He's benefiting from that and has become the division leader of some random division in Pantheon, and he doesn't really earn it. So, whatever you're doing, you're assuming it's petty it, more than anything else so and i think i misspoke earlier you're breaking into a ram office not a pantheon office so yes. that, that one was on me and <laughs> my bad who did you say we were like targeting you were targeting a a man named um I, you know what all of these notes i wrote extensive notes didn't name that guy <laughs> his that name is jebediah <laughs> there it is. That's his name. So that's the guy. So that is that. Do you have any other questions? Oh, and he goes, and for you guys, here you go. And he gives you uh, med kits, like our uh, me medical serums and some thieves tools and stuff in case you need to do anything like that. He gives you that equipment so you are prepared. He goes, anything else you need to know before we go in? We're just trying to disrupt Jebediah, we're not trying to kill him. Jebediah won't be there. You're there to just kind of ruin ruin his status quo. Okay. One other thing. The security office is pretty small, and it's you probably want to just send one or two people in there uh, to distract the guard. You're not going to want to send everyone in there. Uh, you seem kind of kind of charismatic. How do, uh, how do you do around people? I tend to please those I talk to. Excellent. We could we could be uh, the ones handling that room. So okay. excellent. Yeah. So with that, 
good luck. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. All right. So you guys leave out the back way through shrimps. And as you as you leave, the night passes. And the next day, you meet up again at some random secure point that you have. You get onto a helicopter. And you fly to the top of this building. Down below, you are, you are like hundreds of floors up. Down below, there are... Uh, is a large parade happening where you see large floats for for all these uh, all these types of men who are regarded as heroes you see uh the crowd down there enjoying themselves there's like hot dog stands there's food trucks all around there's uh, people enjoying their time and across from that you see a police barricade trying to keep the uh trying to keep the parade as much as they can secure there without also as much collateral damage as, as possible hey volley so that I don't get trampled, can I can I backpack on you? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. <laughs> so I just climb up. <laughs> you guys, you guys are in this helicopter as you're flying above, and instead of landing on the very top of it, there is a helipad that's a few, like about ten floors above, like the final, like the the lobby floor. You guys land there and drop in, and the pilot over it just goes, just so you know. Your floors, everything you're gonna be is gonna be on roughly floor six and down, so you don't need to worry too much about going on different floors, okay? Got it. Okay. Sounds good. Good luck out there. Hmm. Drops, and then you guys go. All right. On this rooftop, you see air conditioning units, you see a door at the end, and that's about it up here. So. All right, let's let's get moving, y'all. Um, Where's the door to this place? <laughs> How do we uh, get in? Right over there, I think. Yeah, um, you see one, one like service door that's like propped open. Are there, open. are there any buildings that are like taller than us nearby? Is anybody watching? There's a bunch of skyscrapers, but you don't see. I mean, you can do perception check if you want. That's an eight plus eight, 16. You don't see anything. It's entirely possible that there's someone watching, but with how busy the floor you guys are on, you're about equal level with the parade floats. So it's it'd be harder for them to see you. They'd have to be like way up there. And that, like these are skyscrapers. For them to be on a skyscraper and for you to be on like floor 10, like that's not gonna give them much of a tactical advantage. So uh, there's the, you can presume that there's no one around, but it's entirely possible. Right, right. Uh. Let's uh, be on your guard, of course, um, and uh, let's try and get get in, trash the place, and get out quick as we can. Make that money. Do we have to worry about security cameras or anything around? Maybe we should take a look first and make sure the coast is clear before we go further. That's true. Y'all aren't as small as me, so. <laughs> you can make me perception checks, or I will say uh, computers, if you want. If you'd mm -hmm. rather, if you're looking for, um, if you if you're looking for security cameras, yeah, uh, I'll do uh, perception. Cool. Everyone's welcome to roll this. I rolled a three four. on the die <laughs> plus Likewise. eight. That oh. is eleven. <laughs> so I got four, fourteen. Okay. I got eight. Eight total. Eight total. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp womp. I rolled a one for nine total. <laughs> <laughs> Jess? Uh, I rolled a 19 Ooh. for a total of 27. Yeah. Uh, you don't see any out here on this helipad, uh, but if you, when you prop the door open a little bit, you can see that there are some security cameras in there. There's a few up here, and I point them out to whoever's next to the door as I'm peeking in. Um, does it look like they're active? Like, is there like a red there's blinking like a light? Red, there's like a constant red light on it and you see them slowly turning, mm. they stop, and then they slowly turn back and they stop. They're okay. just kind of like oscillating back and forth. Gotcha. Um, they, uh, they oscillate back and forth slowly, so there might be a blind spot where we mm. can sneak down because we need to get to floor six, right? Anybody got an affinity with tech? Mm. You'd be looking for computers. I give you engineering if you would like. Uh, that's I'm, about it. <laughs> so, I'm, ooh, engineering is bad. <laughs> I'm quite proficient with engineering. <laughs> All right. Um, do you think you can hack them or shut yeah. them down? You would need a remote hack ability, and these are mm. about 12 feet in the air. Mm. So, if you don't, if you do, then awesome. Otherwise, you will have to probably just stealth in. Can Moss I is pick definitely them up? not that tall. <laughs> uh, do these cameras? Can we check if they have uh, night vision or not? 
Um, you can presume not all the lights in there are always on. Uh, okay. There's like fl- fl- fluorescent lights that are just constantly on. Okay, so, so you, no you way to cut the lighting. Yeah, cool. exactly. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'd be fine to just try to stealth in. I could probably get under underneath them and then kind of see if there's anything I can do once we're inside. Sure. Yeah, I second that. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, let's so, do it. Yeah. You can all give stealth rolls if you want, or if you just want to send a couple people in. Up to you guys. Well, I'll go in first and check. I'm assuming we kind of like get to a corner and then go check the rest of the hallway. You see the hallway. It just it's one hallway down and then there's a right turn. That's all that you see right now. So I did not do good on my roll. Um, because I'm piggybacking on Valia. Can I ignore my roll? <laughs> I will say you jumped off for Valia to sneak in. Dang. Okay. Uh, so that is a three on the die plus. Where's my stuff? Uh, eight again, so 11. 11, okay. I got 10 for a total of 23. There okay. it is. I got 14. 14? Mm-hmm. 14 got, total? Yep, total. I got nine for a total of 17. Cool. Jess, you going into or no? Yes, uh, and uh, that's another 27. Okay. Wow. Dang. So here's what we'll do. Valia, Valia went in first. Mm-hmm. So Valia will sneak in, and uh, what you see in there is as you walk in, you're able to figure out like just the general timing of the rotations, so you're able, and you watching it, you're able to see their blind sides and the blind spots. You can at least assume where they are. So you're able to hug the wall, you sneak in, and you look down the hallway. And what you see is down the hall is a large, almost factory, where it looks like there's lots of um, of belts going, like gears turning, belts going. You see conveyor, conveyor belts, that's the word, uh, kind of pushing out what looks like metal robotics of some kind. And there's a central computer system in the center with a glowing screen on it. Uh, you don't see much without going into the room yet, but that's that's what you see first. Uh, so, if you want to convey that somehow, we yeah. can. Yeah. So, if there's nobody here. There, there is a computer inside. Um, we might be able to control the cameras, but we might just have to sneak in. Mm-hmm. I can't really guarantee that. I'm also going to say really quick that you guys did get, like, computer comms, so you're able to talk to each other while you're separated. Oh, nice. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. I, 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 that was on, again, I on me to not here. tell you that. That, that. You were supposed <laughs> to get that one. So, so yeah. So, we like, Valia can be in the hallway. Finally, it's to turn on. It's working, guys. <laughs> so. Right. Okay, so. So, with that done, are you guys going to sneak in now well you're going to use your same roles and you have to be honest with me as your friend if you would if you would still sneak in uh after hearing that um i mean uh i would probably ask uh if any of you guys could um like try and shut the camera off for like a second because i don't feel confident in my ability to get out of its uh, range of view while it's turning or before it turns, so. Yeah, I have a feeling more than one person coming in all at once would be more suspicious than yeah. just a couple people coming in anyway. Right. I'm pretty tall, guys. If you want, I can put my hand up and block the camera as y'all go in. It's 12 feet in the air. Oh. So if you are 12 feet tall. <laughs> I'm, six, I'm six, seven, and then with my arm span, I don't, maybe, okay, never mind. <laughs> How are your computer skills, Valia? Uh, acceptable, acceptable. My, but, yeah, mine are decent too. Um, hmm. So I could still I, try to sneak over to the computer system at least. Yeah, and I will say with your like thirty or whatever you rolled yeah. earlier, twenty-three. It's yeah. basically thirty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that, Round up. Uh, that you you won't need a roll again. You're able to sneak in there. Okay. Uh, then, and, yeah. Go ahead. Then I'm going to do something on the computer. Um. I will say, as you walk in, you see that there's the central computer that seems to be on this machine that is producing these other little robots. And as you walk in, give me a perception check. 18 plus 8, 26. Eight. As you walk in, you see that to your right and like kind of behind like a fire escape, there is a smaller data pad that's built into the wall that has little monitors on it and you see the cameras moving around and you see not only those in there but the ones in this room as well that are scanning it okay okay i want to glance at the computer that's in here but then i'm gonna go over to the if you want to give me a computer check then that's also fine i will happily accept that not great 11. that's a computer 
Yep. <laughs> and it's turned on. <laughs> and it's connected with wires. That's, right. that's about all you got. You think you've seen that model before, but you're not sure. <laughs> um, in that case, I'm going to go over to the, 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 the camera module. All right. Try to, try to figure that one out. Uh, you see, literally, it is like 12 little screens, and there's a big red button on it that says stop. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to do the computer's check to de detect fake shell. Go ahead. Math. 14. It's it's a real button. I'm going to press that button. You see all the, all the cameras go beep. <laughs> They're done. <laughs> nice work, Valia. All right. Volia, see the lights turn down. down. I think the, I think <laughs> the, the coast is clear. So it looks like he was successful. Oh, yes, there are RGB lights. Yeah, there. there's, are, there's <laughs> gamer lights in there now. <laughs> RGB. <laughs> so you guys see that, and uh, That's is our the cue. coast clear? Yeah, I think I think we're good to go. Vali, you are a saint. Let's get in there. Doing what I can. So you walk in. As, as as you enter this room, you all... Everyone give me computer checks as well. I was raised on a farm. <laughs> Natural Sorry, 20. Woo, woo. I'm not going to try to compete with that. 15, 16, 17, 18, Plus 18. one, so 21. Okay. <laughs> 20. That 20 is carrying a lot. I had 15, yeah. 15 plus 8, so 24. Okay. Uh, 13 on the die, 14 total. Cool. 22 total. 22 total. Okay. Nice. Anyone who rolled above... A 18. Do you well, want me to roll a, a separate one for this, too? No, I'm okay. sorry. You, you, <laughs> got, you, got, you got yours. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody who rolled above an 18, you will see that this center computer, you see Volley in the corner, who successfully turned off all the cameras, and then in the center of it, you see this large machine that you recognize as producing um, security drones. Like, just very cheap, easy ones. It doesn't seem in debt. Like, it's not like a Dominion would have made this where it's, like, heavy, heavy artillery and, like, reinforced steel. These are very light, almost, mod like, glorified GoPros on on these little defense bots. Uh, and you see that that in the center of the, the screen there is the control module for it. That sure mm. is a screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could I do a... A computer's check for disable or manipulate module? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, it's eight, so nine. Nine total? Yeah. <laughs> you 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 type in try to figure out just the password and you get you try admin one and it says nope. And you, you try, try password? password one and then it says nope and you <laughs> with an exclamation as well. It also doesn't work. <clears throat> did, did did you with try a guest? Try <laughs> guest. <laughs> if anyone else would like to try, you are welcome to, or we can move on. Can I do a perception check to see like where the robots go on the conveyor belt? Like, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So six and so 16. 16, you see, what you see is these conveyor belts. They like the, it looks like the robots come out of like a chute. So they are able to be inspected if need be. And then they go back into a chute and you see that chute go into the floor, but you're not able to tell where it goes after that. What are these robots for? Uh, with my, uh, could I do a culture check corporate wise to see if I uh, know anything about where Pantheon uh, tends to um, like send their machines that they develop? Um, I will, d d first of all, because again, this was on me, it's RAM. RAM, <laughs> RAM building, that's RAM. on me, yes. <laughs> again. RAM. Please roast me in the comments. <laughs> Secondly, um, it is, uh, I will say without even checking, that you know that these are probably going into some kind of collection units where they are stored in the building somewhere for their own use. Like this is like a very cheap, their own use security drones uh, instead of having to rent it out from a competitor. So these things, they're uh, they're for like security and such. Um, they're just like going into um, like some containment sort of thing, kind of like they're being boxed up to ship out. Oh, so yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay. Um. So the computer. So is there like should we be turning this off? Should we be stopping the production? Do we want to intervene and? If you if he tried already, but if you want to try you as well, you can you can roll me a computer's check. Okay, I will roll a computer's check, and then so three not really good, and so eight, nine, ten, and eleven. 
You, yeah. you also same exact thing. You are you try Darn. admin two doesn't work. You try <laughs> password two with a question mark doesn't work. So uh, what's our what's our goal with this screen? Because I might not be good with computers, but if we're just looking to mess up what they got going on with this system, we could try just busting it up. I have my pistol. Is it in like a separate room or like are we basically in the same room as the manufacturing? The screen, you mean? Like the the screen and the like, ma- manufacturing. Like the actual oh. like. It's, it's all line. in the same room. It is like the screen is on the thing itself that's producing the the robots. Okay. Uh, could I do an engineering check to disable the conveyor belts to hold up production? Interesting. Yes. Go ahead and uh, give me. Yeah. 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 Be careful doing that. We want to make it look like something naturally went wrong and not necessarily. Was sabotaged. Nat twenty. Woo! Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. Engineering of seven, so twenty-seven. Perfect. Nice. With the nat twenty, <laughs> you are able to exactly that. Make it look natural. Uh, I would. How, how would you? How would you think you did it? So uh, Moss takes one of the drones off of the conveyor belt, snaps the wings off of it and jams them just into the edge of the conveyor belt so it looks like they weren't fully assembled and somehow slid down in there and just stopped production entirely. Perfect, and it looks exactly like that. It looks like just an absolute malfunction. It just The thing fell apart around the conveyor belt, essentially. That and is brilliant. I like it. And Thanks. I will write something down. We're going to get such a pile up of parts uh, before this point in the belt. That's going to be so funny. So... With that, you see that the production, at least on one of the conveyor belts, has stopped. And the other one is still going. The computer is still on, but you see that now there is an error message on it. Uh, Besides that, you also do notice there's no actual doors in this room besides the one you came out of. But there is a maintenance ladder that goes into the ground. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, let's, Let's check out that ladder. Uh, I'm gonna go over to it and see if I can see anything down the uh, the chute. You see a ladder that goes down a dark chute. He, oh. said, <laughs> he said that the uh, the conveyor belt goes into the floor, right? Yes. Can we look down that hole too? It's it is like it's like a vent going into the ground, oh, okay. so it's it's covered. You can't see into the actual hole. Okay. Well, all right. Who wants to go I will first? Say, Clementine, do you want to? Who should we flip a coin or something to go first? It looks a little dark down there. Well, dark is my place, so I can go first. Again. All right, <laughs> Golly. Excellent. Save a coin flip. The darkness is say, your ally. I'm sorry to say, you don't even have to roll. It's just the ladder. You just go down, <laughs> and after like about the equivalent of four or five floors, you stop and you see that there is what looks like um, I don't know the word for this. When you're in an office building that's like boring and it's got like the tiled ceiling things, like whatever that material is. Drop ceiling. Drop ceiling. You see like a tile for one of those there. Uh, Like at the bottom right below you. Okay. So like the, like I would have to remove a drop ceiling tile to go down. Mm. Yep. Mm. All right. This was a very long ladder. I'm going (laughs) to, I'm assuming this is a, I kind of have to hang onto the ladder to try to lift it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to stealthily move it just to kind of look first to make sure there's nobody below that area. You can give me either a stealth or a perception check. Okay. Excuse me. Could I use that stealth check that I tried to roll beforehand? Yes. <laughs> okay, that was a 19. Okay. Plus, yes. <laughs> plus 13. So. All right. Thir- yeah. We're allowing it this once. That's a no for everyone. Oh, okay. Else. On out, okay. You're not banking. I ruined it for you. <laughs> so that's because I felt bad. <laughs> okay. So you you stealthily do it, and you're able to look around, and you don't see anyone in there. This looks like an empty meeting room, essentially, where it, instead of um, instead of a desk with like a, like a large desk with chairs around it, you see on the front there's like a whiteboard and a podium for someone to kind of talk at. And then there's like rows of chairs for people to sit at uh, and, and observe. All right, I'm gonna go on down and try to try to get inside. All right, with that stealth check, you drop down, super quiet. No one is in there. There's not a soul in there. Any cameras? Nope. And then you see in this room. All right. I think how's the, it looking, Volley? I was say, how's it going? I think the coast is clear. You guys can come on down. Awesome. It's a little bit of a trek, but 
All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm cruising down. After a moment, uh, in a little bit, you do your Metal Gear Solid 3, what a thrill, <laughs> down down the ladder. <laughs> and and you, and you uh, as you land, uh, you see, you all see the same exact thing. It is just like the felt boring carpet, the drop mm -hmm. ceiling. Uh, it looks like that this, you went, this ladder was made to be accessed from the way going up and not the way that you came in going down like that. So you like, you came in through maintenance essentially. Okay. As you look around, you see that there is a, based off the map that you guys are looking at, there is a door to the north and there is a door to your uh, east on the side, like over mm -hmm. there. You are able to... Uh, see that there is a glass wall to the door of the east, and you see hallways uh, leading one just going straight down, the one going down to the south. After everybody's come down, I'm going to reset the tile back into position. Smart. smart, smart, smart. You do that. So it seems like this is a conference room. Would this be a, a good place to start some more destruction? You weren't hired to do that, and you uh, give me if you give me a um, I'm gonna give a sense motive on just the building in general. <laughs> What's the building's intention? What's the vibe of the room? You know, <laughs> like, vibe yeah, yeah. So roll me a sense motive, and, I, okay. and I'll I'll tell you what you think. Do a vibe <clears> check. Eleven and zero, so eleven. You get the feeling that you could break shit. Could be fun. Could be a fun time to break things in this room, you know? Yeah. There's a pretty big glass wall there. It is a very big glass wall. A lot wall. of tables to flip. <laughs> with my with my L fan arms, I just I pick up a chair and throw it. Like, not even throwing it hard. I just eh. You kinda hear it scoot across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, <"Kr> <laughs> As you throw it and it hits the glass, it is like a plexiglass, so it bounces off of it. And you see down the hall towards like the east, there is a um, there is a doorway that opens up and a blue light emits out of it. And you see someone starting to peek their head out. I will need everyone to make me a stealth check. Hey, I'm sorry, my friends. Oh my god. Oh. So I had <laughs> ten total. Ten yeah. total. I rolled a two. <laughs> All right, it's a group PC, so thirteen. Thirteen total. Nineteen. Nineteen. A natural twenty. Woo. For Ooh, a total of today. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. <laughs> okay, Man. what'd you get, uh, Clem? Uh, I got a two on the die. Ten total. <laughs> okay, you guys got into one room. Uh, so oh man, <laughs> you, you, all hide. Where are you guys hiding in this room? Um, I'm going to, as um, I'm assuming everybody saw the blue light. Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to make my way and kind of hide behind the whiteboard and just kind of like, if it's movable. Yep, okay. <laughs> With my role being as bad as it is, I pretend to be like a centerpiece on the table. Because <laughs> I'm a little plant, I'm just... <laughs> 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 Uh, bless for Michaela. That's my Woo! DM. Thank you, Bard de facto. I think that's Gary. That so, is Gary. Yeah. Um, oh, I probably I duck around real quick, look, and I see the desk there, and I slide underneath it real quick and try to hug all the corners, <laughs> like very bendable. <laughs> okay, you're doing that, the acrobatics feat. The acrobatics, yes. totally. I would, oh man. I would duck either behind the podium or under the other desk. Okay. Or behind the desk, wherever there's room. Behind okay. one of the things. And I would try to go through the door to the north to see if maybe there's a room back there that I could hide in. All right. Well, so, what, Ryan, what was your guys' stealth again? You, you're fine. Volia's fine. <laughs> I'm not. Least. I was 10. Uh, 10. 10? Mine was 13. 13. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> he, this guard comes out. And with how bad Riley's role was, <laughs> he sees only the person presenting to be a potted plant <laughs> in the center of the room. Just like... And he goes out and he goes, ma'am, what do you think you're doing up here? I'm sorry. Uh, so I think I got a little mixed up. Somebody kind of hired me to be a little like um, bouquet gram. 
um, where they wanted me to pass on a message to one of the employees and I, I got lost and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> Be 100% honest. I don't believe you. I don't you. even get to do a bluff check? No. <laughs> not with a two on the, not with a two uh, stealth. So he grabs, he grabs your arm. He goes, all right, ma'am, please come with me to the, oh, uh, please, to my sir, office. Please, sir, please, no. And I, I try to like flirt with him to be like, please, can you just let it slide just this once? I am, I, I am both innocent. married and violently asexual. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he drags you, and what he drags you. <laughs> He drags you into his office, what which is, is one of your missions. <laughs> is is your one of your goals is to go in there. So, with that, you see a room really quick. We'll say that you see a room that has lots of monitors. There's a blue glow in here from all of those, and you see the large database that you are there to break into. It is sitting kind of close to his desk. Uh, you could, you took you took the flash drive. You so you do have it. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. you are able to kind of. It, you try to sneak in there if you want, or you can try to escape, do whatever you want. But that is the room that you are in, and he is there looking at you kind of a little angri- angrily. Our comms are like earpieces, right? Yep. Clementine. Yeah, they're like like the, the first first uh, first service, whatever it's yeah. called. The president's guard. Secret service. Secret are you service. able to see anything in there, Clementine? Yeah. Can what? I try to discreetly Can, do that? What do you see? <laughs> Can't talk right now. Can I like crawl out from under the table and go ahead and take this time to shape shift since I just seen what the guard looks like? Uh, yes, you can. That takes okay. a minute for yep. you, right? Yep. So, uh, you guys sit there while your friend <laughs> morphs <laughs> I'm gonna into be, this man. I'm gonna try to solve this if I can. <laughs> so with that, uh, and we'll say that the door that uh, that Moss opens up at the top, mm-hmm. you see that this is both a storage room and it just has like kind of an old archive room full of like just old paperwork and things that like legally need to be kept but there's just storage and junk in there okay so with that it is what what, is, what are the rest of you doing now so it takes a minute uh for the for that to happen so um what's written on the whiteboards is there important documents like notes or anything synergy teamwork <laughs> There's we are no a family, and, team. and it's, uh, it's underlined six times under the word family. <laughs> and it is, there's like a doodle of a man pointing to it saying, that's us. We, we are that, and you love us. Like We don't is, got employees. We got family. <laughs> it, is just, it is just that. Uh, you got another bless from Barb Save the Whales for Clem. Task failed successfully. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We do really quick have half off on all blesses, banes, or uh, uh, hero points and everything like that. So if you're welcome, if you want to, you can. Up to you. Uh, so yes. Yeah, so what are the what are the rest of you doing now as this is all? Going Could on? I do a bluff check to create a diversion to try and distract the guard that has her in the security room? Yes. Before you do that, give me a perception check. Perception check. Okay. Uh, one plus five, so six. (laughs) Yeah, man, you can. It's cool. (laughs) Nothing's going to (laughs) happen. You absolutely can. Yeah, I I think I'll pass. No, you said it. You have to right, it yeah. what, what, is, what is your move here? What, what, is, what is your bluff looking like? What are you going to do? Uh, so I was going to take one of the records from the room that I was hiding in mm-hmm. and throw it down this hallway to the south of where uh, the control room is to try and create a noise that he would go check out. But... Sure. <laughs> no, you, we've, we've committed here. Since Well, I was going to say since the perception check didn't... Hit. Perception check, it, the halls are clear. Looks fine to you. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what, okay. it, that's what it's for. It looks, it looks like there's nothing in this room that's stopping okay. you. Okay, so then <clears throat> uh, for the bluff, it's 13 and 7, so 20. Cool. So you just take this like manila folder and just huck it down uh, the hallway. And as you do, you are able to somehow manage, <laughs> you manage to throw without any papers flying. And as, as it lands on the door, it just goes, <laughs> his door is closed. <laughs> Are there windows to the office? Not, if not for security. So that happens, and now you hear 
the sound of whirling as it sounds like there are wings flying down the hallway now. Mm. As you remember that their drones had wings on them. <laughs> so I will give you all another stealth check one more time uh, to try to avoid that. Climb it down, you don't have to, you are yeah, locked in a room. that's what I thought. Uh, 14. Cool. 17. Cool. 27. Hey! <laughs> 23. You are the darkness. 23. Nice. Let me pull up their things really quick and roll. What was the lowest roll? 17. Uh, 14. 14. Okay. So, they ain't smart. You're fine. Got a five on the dice, so they <laughs> and they have a subtraction to this. So they they walk in and they just they look around and go coast is clear as you or they fly in, look through that, and then they they fly back down the hallway towards the south. A, a security drone has negative abilities on their. I told you they're cheap and they're cost cutty ones. <laughs> they, <laughs> they ain't renting them out from Dominion. <laughs> they, they would get much better ones from there. Hmm. All right, so I've already shapeshift by now. So um, I'm thinking about walking in and knocking on that door and um, finding out where my plotted my potted plant, plant went from came. So, so you're going in as a clone of him to make to be, be clear. Well, oh, I well, I shapeshift into a guard, not necessarily him. Oh, I thought you could only shapeshift into people you've seen. Okay, then maybe not. Yeah. Sorry, newbie here, try to figure out. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay yeah, I'm just, I, uh, is, otherwise, you would be doing yeah. that. Would your shape shifting allow you to like just shape shift the clothes? Um, it said humanoid, um, two legs, two, two hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has to be arms and legs, yeah. Mm. So, okay. Dang. So I better really hide if he comes walking out the <laughs> <Yeah>. door then. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm your long lost twin brother. <laughs> We've He's, been working yeah. for the same company. <laughs> As you guys kind of step into this hallway a bit, you notice uh, one one thing really is down at the bottom. Or no, you, you notice two things. In the hall across from you, straight across, you see a light is in that hall as if someone is in there. Uh, and you see some shuffling and it looks like there are offices in there. Down in the bottom, you're hearing a little bit of uh talking chatting kind of laughter like they're they're hanging out a bit so uh what would you guys like to do hmm we gotta save clementine guys was murder an option <laughs> killing goes against i feel like my morals Clem, are you code. Clem, are you able to describe your surroundings and whether he's alone by you know, subtly narrating as you talk to him. Mm. This is this is a nice office you got here with these computers and you by your lonesome. You must be kind of bored uh, during your shift. I kind of am at times, but you know, it's it's I, I play a lot of solitaire in here. Play a lot of uh, jazz ball. Play a lot, play a lot of uh, pinball. A lot of ball based games happening in here. <laughs> hmm. Do you have a digital version of like, um, oh, what's that one? Like Plinko or something? I got that. Got Brick Breaker. He yeah. lists games for, <laughs> for like a minute straight. Yeah, that'll get you through. How long are your shifts? Uh, that was twelve hours. All right, that's that's wild. Welcome Where are to you hour at? three. Oh man, I was just about to ask how how far you are into your shift. Got Brady, it. Brady, Brady knew. So this is an yeah. exciting turn of events for well, old me. You're, you're welcome. You got a story to tell your friends. <laughs> and I got a story to tell you. <laughs> he just launches into a whole, whole tirade as that. Yeah, so, so that, that's what you, you know, you yeah. gleam that kind of info from her. Psst, Clementine, see if you can have distract him away from the door so that one of us can come in possibly and either grapple him or you know, tie him up or restrain him somehow. Can you show me sure. some of these games? Like you mentioned one that I, I hadn't heard of, uh, Jez Ball. Give me a bluff, uh, bluff or disguise. Or yeah, bluff check. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Eight on the die plus eleven. Nineteen. Nineteen. He's gonna he's lean back. Go, no, ma'am. 
I'm afraid I cannot. I have to do do a process for this. Man, and he I pulls thought... out a clipboard and he's just looking at you while he's writing it all. He's writing. He's filling out information. I thought we were becoming friends. You were telling me a story like you did break into his building. I told <laughs> and I'm you. I'm here to prevent that. I told you I'm a bouquet gram. That's that's my story. <laughs> I'm almost that's positive like, hey. that's not a thing, but I don't know enough yet. <laughs> he continues to continues to write. Uh, you don't work for Pantheon. You don't know what all they got. <laughs> so he he has his eyes to her eyes on kind of like you're across the room from him in the corner. Got to get you him get out the of that vibe door. from everything you've heard so far. You know the biggest threat. Like okay. he's not he's not the worst thing. Like if if you were to leave her alone, she'd probably be fine. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and can I walk up to the door up to the, the top north? Um, yep. all the, um, and back in our main room, that foyer room. Uh, yeah, that okay. door. That, that was where, uh, that, that's Moss opened that up. It's just a bunch of archives and old paperwork and stuff. Nothing, nothing of note in there. Oh, okay. There was nothing to know. Okay. Yeah. Making sure I saw it and then it disappeared on the thing. So I was making sure. <laughs> We're just like, moving the map around so you can kind of see okay. everything. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and walk down, um, Let's explore more of the hallway down. Um, leave her, and let's just see what we come across. All right. Um, can I do a perception check to uh, to open the see down the hallway more? Sure. I will ask: Is anyone do going with her? Or is she? What's what's the what's the? Anybody want to tag along with me? I'm gonna stay in here for a moment until you tell us what's down okay. the hall. I will. I will follow. Okay. You two here. A doorway at the at the at the end that has a lot of laughter. You, you hear people talking in there, chit chatting. You hear like what sounds like billiards balls hitting each other and, and scattering all across. Uh, and you see a little sign on the door that says "Break Room." Okay. Um, is there a, is there like a peephole that I can look through the door to see anything? No, no just nope. an office door. Just an office door. Okay. Um. It's a long hallway. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to open the door. <laughs> Are there any more doors down the hallway other than the one at the end of the hallway? Um, there are. Let me look at the map. Yeah. Uh, there are. You can open them, and I'll remember what's in there. Mm. <laughs> when we open them, I forgot the layout of this map. I'll be 100% honest. <laughs> so... Uh, there's a couple doors, but the you the the you hear the the laughter and everything from the bottom one. The bottom one, okay. Yep. Um, and there's no hallways down. There's no more hallways I can see. Nope. Okay, so that's the break room. There's a lot of people there. I don't think I want to go in there. Um, so I'll probably give me a perception check. On, okay. On that. Five and then so fifteen. Ooh, there's the there's the loud sound. <laughs> uh. Someone said, not going to lie, uh, I understand how happy hour works. <laughs> so, or assuming I understand how happy hour works, bless the rest. So everyone else has a bless now. You didn't have one before. Thank nice. you, Dungeon Speedrun. Dungeon Thanks. Speedrun! <laughs> so, uh, what was your, your roll total? Um, it was 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Even with that, you're able to tell there's not a lot of people in there at all. It, like, this is, the, you You are higher up on floors, so security's a little, like, kind of focused on the downstairs. And you know what? I'm disguised as that security officer, so yep. let's go ahead and, um, I go ahead and knock on, or I just walk through the door, um, kind of confident, and, yeah. I do not follow. Yeah. She <laughs> walks <laughs> stay, yeah, stay here. Let me just check this clarify. out real quick. You, <laughs> So yeah, so give me you give me a stealth check real quick, then. <laughs> we get out of there. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, you just pin against the wall well enough, and it's like <laughs> there's like a sliver of a column, and you're able to hide perfectly behind that. Uh, okay. And then you open the door, and in there you see two uh, two drow men, which are like dark looking elves. Uh, that are sitting in there laughing around, laughing and playing the playing with billiards. All right. How's it going, guys? And they they tend and they look up and they go, "Oh, uh, sir, how, how how are you today?" And then I just nod. Um, I'll I just kind of look around. Um, don't really. Is there? Can I do a perception check to kind of see what else is there? Um, yeah, you can do a perception, like a yeah. like to see what else is in there besides. Um, so 12 and where's my perception? So, uh, 22. 22. You see 
a pinball machine you see a bunch of sofas you see that there's like a mini fridge on the side this is definitely the lounge and it looks recently renovated so this is definitely the one that you're supposed to be destroying and okay. there's just two guys in here that are just hanging out they have their guards down they don't even have their they don't have their weapons drawn they're just on them okay so mm -hmm. um i want to try to convince them to leave the room so not b before i start wreaking havoc so can i do a um don't, I don't want an like an intimidation, I guess. Like, yeah, I need what do you, you what do you say as what do you say as as him? I need you guys to go down and keep an eye on uh, the parade that's been going on. It's been getting a little hectic down there. I need some more people down there right away. All right, give me a bluff check, or I'll let you even use disguise. Okay, perfect. Um, where's my? It makes sense for you to be disguised. <laughs> yeah. So six, and then seven, so thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you get. You're shapeshifted, right? So you get a bonus to that too, right? Yep. Um, that was plus 10, I 10. believe. So yep. 23 total then? Yep. Okay. So with 23, you see them kind of stand at alert and they go, yes, sir. And as they start to leave, they start exiting, like going towards the door and they stop and they they turn to you and they go, uh, sir, with, with all due respect, why aren't you at your station? Um, I would say that's none of your business and do an intimidation check. Go ahead and do, yeah, give it to, go, go ahead and give it. It'll right. be a high DC because they are now the, okay. little They're suspicious. They're a little sus, yeah. okay. Oh, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then uh, nine, so 11. Uh, so they, they look at you and they go, hmm. I might need some backup, guys, here in the uh, rec hey. room. I might need some backup. As you're doing that, one of them radios and goes, Sir, are you in, in your office by chance? And you hear the other line go, Yeah, I am. Why? And they go, Never mind. No, all good. And uh, they go, We'll need you to come with us as they start reaching for their weapons. Okay. And so I'm probably going to... <laughs> I'm going to have you roll initiative for me. And okay. whoever else is going to join in on this fight, roll initiative as well. Please be good to me, Dice. We haven't, we haven't heard from uh, Serafina in a while. We should probably go <laughs> check on her. 17. 17. Uh, hang on one second. And that was for, okay. So 17 total. Your this color is, is orange. Right? So this is where you will be. Uh, uh, who else is joining in on this fight? I will, and my initiative is 13. 13. All right. I will as well. My initiative was six. Six. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. and, and Marcus, what was yours? I haven't rolled. I don't know how you want to do it. There's some actions I want to do, but like, you know, a couple minutes ago, you know, while they were doing stuff, I want to do things in the other room. Sure. Um, uh, so I don't know if you want to start and then we'll start back. and we'll jump back into you onto you here. So you got a six on yours, and they got a where's the uh, not that one minion. There it is. So they got a four, and they also got a seventeen. So Jess, if you can roll another d twenty for me, and we will. Do a little roll off. I rolled really well. What'd you get? Six. Six. All right. So he will go first. Okay. So the one that is in the doorway right here, one that's in the doorway right here is going to use his movement action to both draw his weapon and, uh, and move out of the way a bit. And he's going to pull out his pistol. He's going to step a few feet right over there in front of the table and he's going to fire his gun at you. Does a, does an eight beat your EAC? Um, so, and then, so that's 15. So no, he definitely misses and he just fires and you see this, uh, you see this pulse just shoot out next to you and hit a frame that's on the wall. Uh, All right, I, yeah, look at that. Um, and then really quickly, I'm gonna go pull my knife out and I am gonna do a move is that I'm, a block, I'm one block away, so I can do a single action? Yes, you can do an action. You can do your move action. Your standard action and your move action. Okay, I'll do my uh, just my move action um, with my knife. And so I go ahead and roll that twice, right? My You're doing the bluff uh, intimidate thing, the trick attack? Uh, n yeah, I can do the trick attack, yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll, and I will tell you if you beat it. 
add your bluff intimidator. Am I rolling my d20? Yes. Okay. Yes. 15. 15. Uh, do you add your attack to that or anything? Uh, if it's a bluff check, you would add your bluff. Um, I... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Your, your bluff skill. That... <laughs> I'm trying to remember where it is. It's all good. It's on the left-hand side. Yep. Thank you. Three. Okay, so thanks, guys. <laughs> so 50, 60, 70, 18. 18. That does not pass. He is, he is not intimidated. He knows that you are not the man you say you are, uh, and he's ready to fight. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my knife and um, yep. attack. So roll, roll, roll to attack and then do damage. Okay. So roll to attack. Yep. 16. Ooh, plus... Uh, that sh- that actually will hit no matter what. So you're okay. good. Okay. So then then you roll your your d4. All right, and then I'm rolling that twice, so it's four the first time. Uh, five, six, seven plus uh eight. My one plus one. Uh, eight total. Yep. All right. You yeah you pull your knife out. You try to intimidate him. He just squares up even mm-hmm. more, and you just all right. And you stab him directly <laughs> into the side there. Uh, yep. As he as he falters on his side. He is still standing, but he's not looking super duper awesome. Okay. Uh, and with that, that is your turn. It is now Jess's turn. Okay, so I'm going to use trick attack as well, and I'm going to stealth up behind the guy who's right in front of her. Okay. And I'm going to uh, try to attack him with my, um, as I moved, I pulled out my sword. Sure. And I'm going to try to cut him. All right, he is flat footed. Okay. So that is a natural 20. Okay, so you really do it. <laughs> you do it like really well, actually. How, how, do you, uh, how do you dig into them that way? Uh, yeah, so I have, um, I have a hook sword. Um, and so I just, uh, I'm assuming she stabbed him like on one side. I'm just going to hook him on the other. <laughs> All right, roll your, roll your damage. All right. That is... Of dice. I know. <laughs> so um, that is going to be 13 on the dice, and then oh. I still add my um, attack. attack. Yep. Okay. So it's still going to be two. Mm-hmm. Minus two. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Gotcha. So that should be a total of 17. 17. You see, he is bloodied as you dig these hook swords directly into his side and they are just messing him up he is on death's door but he's still standing uh barely mm. that is now moss's turn all right uh being the slow paced horridus that i am i show up late to the party running down the hallway and <laughs> <laughs> step through the doorway uh just in front of the pinball machine so i'm strategically between both of the guards. I'm going to uh, say you don't have enough speed to get to the pinball machine. Okay. I'll say you have enough to get to like into the doorway like or okay. like right next to the guy, but because uh, you got to go down the hallway and here. Right, right. So Okay. Uh, and then I will, uh, as that move, I, I draw my semi-auto and... <laughs> God, this game rules. <laughs> you can just have a semi-automatic. So semi-auto pistol. I'm uh, with a semi-auto. <laughs> and I'll attack that same guard that they've already bludgeoned pretty well. Uh, <laughs> I rolled uh, 19 plus 4, so 23. That will definitely hit. Heck yeah. And for Tell damage... Tell me how you finish him. You're going to kill him no matter what you do. So how, how, do, how do you kill him? Uh... I, while they're holding him in place with their daggers all in different spots in him, I come up and hold the semi-auto to his chin and just <laughs> right through. You see the <laughs> blood splatters against the ceiling and he just crumples down uh, like rag, like Gary's Mod ragdoll. <laughs> just like collapses <laughs> Gary's down. Gary's Mod. Uh, oh, and man. with that, that is one of them down. There is still one standing. Uh, that is him who is gone. Uh, Bye. So... Now it is the one uh, is back up to the top of initiative because they were the bo- bottom and the top. So it is it is now the one on the end uh, looks panicked and you see him. He is beginning to reach for a button on uh, on his like computer like comms arm here, and he is looks like he's trying to call security. So you will have one more round to quickly deal with him before he alerts everyone that there are intruders. So that will be his entire turn here. 
And actually, no, that gives me a standard. He's going to move across the room even further. Uh, so he will go, like, way over here. <laughs> He's going as far as he can from this. Uh, that is now his turn. So. Uh, Meanwhile, in the security office, I'm like, fine, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you my whole backstory. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, it's, it, it's for the report, so I, I hope you would. Like, it's just that you, I need this for this. <laughs> I'll tell you everything. <laughs> so that is now... Um, as Jess, our friend Jess. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so I, do I have enough space to uh, move and disarm him possibly? You don't, I don't think you, you won't be able to reach him uh, okay. with a melee attack. If you have a gun, you can do that. Okay. Then you can reach him, but you won't be able to disarm him or. Uh, so if guns. I want to, if I have to switch my weapon though now, cause I was holding my knife in him. So. Yeah, you have quick draw. Everyone has the quick draw feats. You're able to just swap. Okay. So quick. I would do a quick draw with my weapon. Um, and I'll try to shoot the computer out of his hand. It's on like his bracer. So it's like, okay. part, like yeah. So it's like, it's like uh, clothing on his arm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, you can shoot him. I'm, I'm not gonna shoot his arm off. <laughs> I'm all, you know, didn't want to kill people. It's like, uh, but I just, I guess I just hit someone with a knife and took him out and bloodied him. So, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and take a shot at him. All Your right. husband did just straight up murder someone. I know. <laughs> Gun to chin. <laughs> I know. The brutal executioner. Just John Wick him. Yeah, totally. Uh, okay, so I have 18. Ooh, yeah, you're gonna hit him no matter what. So go ahead and roll damage. Okay, and so that's my one die. So I got a six plus four, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten damage. Ooh, yeah. Nice. He he looks hurt. He's you shoot him like directly on the side again. Like it's just like kind of kidney shot, and you see he is it is a burning sensation as he's holding it against his side, and he's he's moving. He's trying to hobble away. It was one one roll and dice six. And then this is the four. No, that's just for the attack roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Then. No, it's okay. I, I forgot we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so seven, just seven. Yep. Seven damage. Okay, okay. okay. That Thank does make you. a little <laughs> more sense. He still is holding his side here, and he's burning, and you see like some smoke coming off from where you shot him. But he is he's starting to move away. Uh, okay. He's still standing. So that is now your turn. It is now Jess's turn. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward forty feet. Okay. Fast. And as I'm walking, I'm going to uh, put my hook sword away and pull out this little neon green water gun. And I'm going to say bad security. And I'm going to fire at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, huh? <laughs> Just chastising him. <laughs> Get him. a newspaper next. <laughs> Total of six. Total of six to hit? To hit. To hit. <laughs> Uh, you miss, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't get hit. Uh, so. it's, a, it's a fine miss. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. God dang it. And then I, I turn the nozzle next time. <laughs> so with oh, that, man. you completely miss. <laughs> As he just looks confused and is like has his hand on his keyboard. That is Moss's turn. You have this round to try to knock him out or do something to prevent him from calling you back up and alerting everyone. Hmm. While this is all going on, I'm just like, my parents, they weren't even there for my birth. I'm, I'm a plant, you see, so I just sprouted. But they weren't there. They were never there for me. Uh -huh. And I just, I spent my whole life traveling, relying wow. on the kindness of strangers. Whole life. Uh, so who, who hired you to do this then? Oh, well, that, that all started two years ago when I took this. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and you see him flip another paper I'm over. I'm just like fake crying Niagara Falls. Like just. Okay. I was hoping. Do you have a tissue? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> What's Moss up to? Okay. I am going to move right in front of the table where he was a little bit ago. Okay. And... Do a attack with my semi-auto pistol again, because that's about as the most damage I can do. Uh, so right. I dare you. Let's see what happens. We've got 14. 14. Uh, that does not hit. Actually, wait. Which AC is that going against? Uh, if it's that's analog, then it's K -AC. It's analog. So that K hits. That does hit. Oh, so you, are, you are good. All right. So, two d4s, or sorry, no, I, t I did that wrong. I rolled two, but it should have been one. Uh, should I just re-roll? Yeah, re-roll yeah, re one of them. So, 
So three, uh, four for damage. Four damage. So he, you see, it shoots almost directly in the same spot that it was at. And he goes, ah, ah. Uh, but at the end of your turn, he is able to do, he is able to set the alarm. And you now see that the lights are blaring in here. There was a oh, red man. siren going off. You hear the alarm itself actually going. And uh, two more winged, uh, two winged drones that had approached earlier now enter into this room as they are now here to fight as well. Uh, so, uh, didn't, I didn't think you guys would get caught immediately, <laughs> but that's totally fine. Uh, that's just the fun of the game. So they... <laughs> oh my God. Go, they have really bad uh, things. So this is the top of initiative. Uh, one minion is at the very bottom. And the other minion is going to be... Oh. You got a 13. So the other minion will be right here. So, oh, so this has destroyed my reason for waiting. Yep. So, um, you get if you want to roll initiative and hop on in here now, you can. Yeah. Well, if I'm coming out of the room, is can I? Has, is the guard that's guarding her still not coming? Um, is he still I'm trying in the to office? distract him with all I can. Like the uh, the alarm goes off, and I'm just like, this awakened a terrible traumatic. You know what? That's memory. a great point. <laughs> Give me a um, what would I have you give? A bluff or a diplomacy? Uh, yes, I'll give you diplomacy. To try to distract him enough to see if he doesn't notice. Uh, <laughs> so, two on the die, plus twelve, fourteen. It's not quite enough. As I'm he, holding onto his leg, like don't leave me. As he now, go ahead and roll initiative, and I'll have to throw you in here real quick. Back. As you see him now, see that, and he sees in the cameras in the break room as the alarms are going off, he sees a dead man, he sees an injured man, and he sees two robots and several people. He's, he throws the clipboard aside and pulls out his gun and goes, who the hell are you? Uh, as he will roll initiative, but what was yours first? 19. 19. Uh, and will I also roll initiative now? You will also roll initiative okay. now. And we're going to be doing some back and forth here. Uh, 19, so that puts you right here. <laughs> this board's getting a little full. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I'm going to combine the two. Um, these are the two drones. And then uh, this guy will be the security guard in the room with you. Okay. So, uh, what was your initiative? Uh, 12. 12. That puts you... Hang on one second. 12. And that will put you... <laughs> right... Come on, there we go. <laughs> right there. Welcome to full combat, everybody. So, nice. But now, mission has gone bust. At top of initiative, it is his turn, and you see him, he's looking desperate. He is looking freaked out. He is going to turn to, who's, can uh, we get the map back in there real quick? I know we're bouncing back and forth, sorry. Thank you. He is going to turn to Jess as he sees you quickly approaching, and he's going to take his pistol out and do a full attack to try to shoot you twice. Okay. So that will be a... Where's the thing? Where did I put him? There he is. So, all right. He will shoot you twice with a minus four to attack. Does a 14 hit your EAC? No, it does not. Okay. Does... That's not going to hit. So he fires two times and he just completely whiffs and they whiz by your head. And you're, you're seeing he's shaking. He is not made for this job at all. And he is, he's freaked out as uh, that now is his turn and that is Marcus's turn. Okay. And before you begin your turn, you hear over the comms and you all hear this at the same time is Barthen going, what the hell happened in there? It's all gone a little topside. Uh, you know, same as usual. We have it as controlled as it can be <laughs> at this point. You said cause some trouble. We're causing trouble. Controlled as can be is <laughs> raising every alarm. Get the objectives done quick and get out of there. Listen, honey, we're trying. Please don't call me honey. <laughs> well, stop smoking cigarettes and I'll I'll consider that. <laughs> so with that, you, you don't even hear a response to that. It is now Valia's turn. Okay, I'm going to... Quietly step into the security guard's office um, with my gun out 
and um, to be like, hey, I, I need my bouquet, Graham. <laughs> I need my bouquet, Graham. Um, and I'm so happy. So I'm gonna use my sniper full attack. To, okay, to go, like, go for yeah. it. Just um, kidding. Just yeah, kidding. yeah, I just, yeah, I'm kidding. He's a bitch. Um, We're well, just goofing. Unfortunately, that's a nat 20, but for the the for stealth, stealth check. So first, he doesn't so. even he hears you whisper that, but doesn't see but where he, it came from. But now he's flat footed. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 11 plus the two for flat footed. So 11 for, plus two. Let me find his stats really quick. I now have to pull up a lot of different stats. He, 11 plus two, uh, against which AAC? KAC. KAC? That, will, that meets it. Okay. Um, damage. And, uh, six. Six damage as he... He recoils a bit as he doesn't hear anyone in there. The alarm is blaring. There is a stranger in here. He just saw his buddy is dead. He is freaked out. So he doesn't even see you enter in this room as you sneak up and skulk and just blast him entirely. Uh, he falls to knee for a second, but pulls it back up and he's, he's on guard completely. So with that, it is now uh, Jess's turn. All right. Um gonna go back on the map. <laughs> yes, we're, we're, we're switching back so I, and forth here. So I can see, yeah, um, is there any way, um, so there's only, there's two guys at the door, right? The ones, the, the ones down. Yes. There's two at the door and then that one's partially alive over there in the corner. Yes. Okay. Um, is there a way I could like block the door, try to block the door to keep the other two from coming in uh, to finish off the rest of the first guy? You can, yeah, if you want to slam the door and give me a, I will give you, do a strength check. We'll do a contested strength check to see uh, if you're able to keep it closed or not. That'll okay. take your standard action to do all this. Okay, um, so go ahead and roll 20. Roll d20, then add your strength modifier to that. 20, and then my strength modifier is 10, so 30. It's a dad 20? Okay, yeah, so you... 30. <laughs> the door just slams I'm so in sorry. their face. <laughs> you slam it and you hear it go boop, 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 as it like <laughs> has to rebalance itself out there. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and slam the door. Um, I'll come up and I'll pull... Well, my pistol's still pulled out um, and I'll go ahead and take a shot at... You uh, used your standard to slam the door so you wouldn't be able to take the shot. Oh, uh, darn. Move action. Okay, then... <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I mean, you can if you want to just keep your bot like so pinned against the, the door, door. Keep the bot. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I'll go ahead and block. I'm blocking the door, keeping the two guys back um, while we finish off this guy. Perfect. You and the other guard's dead body are blocking the door. Yes. <laughs> it is a a wall scene. of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, it is Jess's turn. I'm going to re-aim my water gun, and I'm going to fire again. <laughs> All right, go for it. It worked super well last time. Gonna work great this time too with a seven. Seven total? Yep. <laughs> Yet again, just this little <laughs> as it shoots right next to him. And he's like, We're, tor we're torturing this, this poor want? guy at this point. <laughs> he's like, What do you people want from me? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> and that, do you have anything else you would like to do? No. Okay. <laughs> so with that, oh my gosh. It is now Clementine's turn. Back up okay. to the security office. So, go. Uh, in response to him saying, who the heck are you? I'm going to be like, I'm someone you don't want to mess with, honey. And like the waterworks stopped, dead stopped. So I'm just like, I'm someone you don't want to mess with, honey. <laughs> You're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to uh, move a step to the right. Um, and then I am going to try and shoot his eyes to okay. blind him. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, here's a, I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> I, you can you can try. Yeah. There'll be a higher AC to do it. Mm. But if you do it, I'll let you. You'll be blinded till the end till the start of uh till the end of his next turn. Nice. We have faith okay. in you, Clementine. Go. Right. I believe in you. You got this. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> hey. So. That's the shooting song. <laughs> um, uh, so that is um, 
11. That's not gonna, not gonna hit. As, yeah. as you see, it shoots it, onto his collar, but it doesn't even, like, it just burns the collar. Yeah. And that's it. He doesn't even feel it. Uh, and he just goes, well, nah, I, I don't even know what to say to y'all anymore. I thought I knew you. <laughs> as, <laughs> as that is, you've, you've moved and you've done your attack, so that is your turn. So what this do- is now the two flying drones. <laughs> As mm. they are going to, all they're going to do is try to do strength checks to try to break into the room. So one will do it first. Uh, make me another d20, like, strength check to uh, see if we're able to do it. 19, so 29. You definitely beat it. Uh, we're going to do it one more time. Do you have a plus 10 to strength? Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. I just realized what you said. The strength should have the 10 for your strength, and then there's a, a plus to it next to it. Zero. Okay. Oh. That's. <laughs> this sounds a little more like it. Guys. Uh, <laughs> You're supposed to be watching me. (laughs) So they also got a 19. So that meets it, beats it. So they are going to push you out of the way as the door opens. Oh, dang. That is the turn of one of them. The second one, the, the score is way different than modifier. The first one will move into the room and kind of sit on the side and not move out of your way so that you don't get an opportunity to attack. And then the second one will come into the door as well on the other side of you. You will be flat-footed, but they oh. are going to aim at Jess because you are okay. hotly pursuing uh, the one that called them in the room. So, uh, does a 17 hit your EAC? Just hits. Just hits. Uh, great news. They are not the beefiest fellas in the world. Two fire damage as they shoot a little laser out and just hits you in the back. And you're a... <laughs> as you feel a little sting. And that is their turns. As we are now back up to Moss. With the drones, um, I was like having panic flashbacks to season one with like the big like medical robot security things. <laughs> and I was just like, oh no. And then just two, and I'm like, oh my god. They're two little dorks. Yeah. <laughs> two little losers. Don't worry about them. <laughs> so uh, this turn, Moss is gonna really, really uh, there he is. get on this guy's bad side. All right. Uh, I'm going to move right to the space to the right of him, and I am going to do a dirty trick <clears throat> in which we tie his shoelaces together to entangle him. <laughs> that's funny. I love that. With a 19 Ooh. and a melee of plus three, that's at 22. That is going to definitely pass as you fully... You do exactly that. Moss <laughs> drops to the floor and just starts to really intricately tie the, the butterfly into the laces until he he, and he he is he is now <laughs> entangled <laughs> from this action. Uh, let me Google entangled real quick. You know, as we do that, that was as, that was your move. And that was everything. It is as now... Moss looks at him and says, "Stay." <laughs> Stay. <laughs> so. Uh, right. This is a lot of bad things for this fella. So <laughs> this, this, means, this is a poor guy. Um, back up to the security guard office with with him in there. He is going to take out a tactical baton, and he is Ooh. going he's going to move and take out his tactical baton to step up next to Clementine and swing. Uh, and you go. I thought we were friends. <laughs> As he Don't squash swings. me. He got a natural one. And it slips out of his hand. And he does like a like. A, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> As he grabs it and he holds on to it. You know, uh, I thought we were friends too. But then you wouldn't show me the games. <laughs> and that is his entire turn. So now, you're now done. You're done. <laughs> back up at the top of initiative. It is back to the other guy who was in in the billiards room. He is going to take out his gun. He's going to fire at Jess again. Or no, he's actually going to fire at uh, at Moss for doing that to him, and he's entangled, right? So Quick this question means... about the entangle. Uh, yes. How far was the 22 over his KAC plus 8? KAC plus 8, that was... Uh... Or I guess how many... How many five was it over? <laughs> Give me this How calculator. Hang on over? a second. What did you roll total? 22? Uh, 22. Okay, that was uh, that was not five over. So, okay, so yeah. it's only one round that he's entangled. Cool. So, yep, yeah, this and this means he is... Let me double check again really quick. Uh, he cannot move. And 
some weapons have a maximum blah, 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 blah. I'll look it up later. So, <laughs> so what this means is he can't move, and I think he gets penalties to his uh, attack as well. Uh, let me double check again. I'm so sorry, everybody. There it is. Uh, minus two to his AC, attack rolls, reflex saves, everything like that. So he's going to fire it. Uh, he's going to fire at Moss. Uh, and he's definitely going to whiff it with a five on the die with a minus two. So he's, he's, yes. he's going to just freak out. He's like, why, why are you down there? <laughs> he's he's going to start shooting down there, just completely missing. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> He can't. That's that's his turn. Is he's not gonna really be able to move. Uh, so with that, that is Valia's turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, just say the guard. Like, come on, you're here on a holiday. You brought a baton to a gunfight. Uh, <laughs> do you do you really want to die for this, or uh, do you want to just let us go and you can, you know, get out of here less. M- not as harmed as no, no with no further harm as you're saying that he's finishing grabbing the thing and then he just like strikes it down and like flourishes a bit and he goes behind or are you doing an intimidation thing uh, yeah i'm gonna do an intimidate to demoralize him go ahead and do that first yeah. and i'll tell you what he says that's an 18 plus uh intimidation plus nine uh for 27 so that a, definitely passes yeah. what does this mean for him uh so he has a Oh, he's shaken now, which is so many silly little conditions. Uh, we minus got here, two, huh? <laughs> minus two penalty to attack rolls, saving throws, or skill checks. Got it. Or, okay. or ability checks, and um, what the DC is fifteen plus one and a half CR. You know, you beat it. Yeah, How many good. times? Over. Man, stop me doing all this math. And what, <laughs> what did you roll? Uh, uh, 27. 27. So uh, forever one round of by... Uh, I think by I five. throw two rounds in total. Okay. So he's shaking for two rounds. Okay. So he... I might have done that math wrong, but it is two rounds. So so he he is shaking, and you see him like... He's literally shaking as he's holding this baton, and he goes... I, I don't really want to die, but if I die, my family gets a good chunk of money. So... I kind of have to. Okay, that's your choice. Attack. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry for that squeak. (laughs) Um, That's just a... That's a nine, but I don't know if that shaken affects that, though. I don't think that does. Uh, No. Yeah, so I don't think... Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I missed that one. All right, so yeah, you, he's he's shaking and vibrating so much the bullet shoots next to him. Uh, <laughs> and uh, hey, that's that, a warning shot. <laughs> that is his turn. We are now back up to Jess. All right. Um. So I'm angry. They just got through the door, and so I'll probably try do my marked for death. Um, okay. Move takes, on yes. the guy um behind me. Um. So, or actually I'll do it in front of me, the person in front of me. Um, so it says mark an opponent within a hundred feet as a move action. Um, if they're in sight, you gain two plus enhancement bonus. Cool. So, okay. yep. You mark, you mark one of the drones It takes okay. your movement action and now you get bonus. Okay. So yeah. Die drone. I'm taking <laughs> you out. <laughs> it's a beautiful effect you have on yeah. it. Yes. 17. Uh, that does, that definitely hits. Okay. These are little goobers, so they're easy to hit. So, uh, roll, roll your damage, and we'll, we'll do oh, that. Oh, my right. damage. Okay, and that's and I was shooting him with my gun, right? Gotcha. Yep, okay. Four, and so five. Five damage total. You see that that thing, that almost immediately takes it out, but it is it is still still standing as, uh, as it's sitting there. It, I'm sorry, you're all right. As it's still flying, and it's kind of like going up and down a little more. It's struggling a bit. You see, like, the wing stops for a moment, then it'll kick back in. Uh, and with that, that is your turn. We are now up to uh, Jess. Uh, quick question. Yes. Uh, do I have a reroll token or Bane? Nope. You have Bless. So if bless. You, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep, yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so I'm going to quick draw and pull out my bone sword. Cool. I'm going to walk up to the entangled security guard, and I'm going to intimidate him okay. and say... They can't pay that good. Turn it off if you value your life. Okay. 
Can I roll bless now? Blesses, blesses if you get one less than the DC. Oh, then gotcha. You get it. Understood. Yeah. Okay. All right. An 11. Ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Ain't gonna cut it. He goes, I'm not, you, you try to shoot me. You try, you're actively trying to shoot me. This poor guy. <laughs> and that, I think that's your standard in your move, right? Yes. Yep, there it is. So back to the security office, Clementine. Okay. Um. So first I am going to try to reason with him. I'm like, now listen, listen. Uh, you don't have to do this. We can actually make it look like we knocked you out, and it's better for your family to have a constant stream of money rather than a big sum that's going to deplete and then no more. So it's better th f that way. Plus, <laughs> your family loves you. I hope they do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he shakes harder. <laughs> He's shaking even more now. Uh, are you trying to persuade him to leave? Uh, to... Um, not necessarily leave, but to let us go. Give me a Diplomacy. bluff check. Diplomacy. It's a bluff. But I'm not. Or intimidate. <laughs> or intimidate. But I'm not. Ah! You're intimidating him. No, I'm trying to reason with him. <laughs> <laughs> with a gun out. <laughs> it's intimidating. I know. <laughs> uh, so that is an 18. 18. And I think that'll be minus two. And it's minus two, yeah, because it's thing. And I'm blessed. And you burn your bless. And yeah. We'll say, and we'll nice. say that you you see him drop the thing. And he goes, ah, "You're so right." <laughs> and he just disengages and he runs down the hallway. And he Thank you, Bar. Gone. Save the whales. So that you made is a good choice. Nice work. <laughs> that is his turn. Uh, you now both are in a completely empty room. You do hear gunshots, and you do now hear in that other room that w had the light on, you hear clattering happening in there. Uh, you want to uh, plug in the, plug in the, the yeah, memory yeah. stick? Yeah, I I'll... almost forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. So I'm going to like plug the flash drive in. Good job. Because Clementine would have <laughs> forgotten about it after like coming up with that backstory. And like everything's been going so wrong. And it's yeah. like... <laughs> We forgot what we've been here for. So uh, I'm gonna plug in that flash drive. Cool. Um, I will tell you what happens on the on uh, once we're out of combat here. Sounds we'll good. Nice sounds good. So the back up to the two little drones, as they are now going to just point right at Serafina, and because they have her flat footed, so they are going to both uh, try to hit you here. All right. Let me pull up their things. There they are. So they're going to try to shoot you with their lasers. <laughs> Does a with a uh, I'll add up the total here. It'll be a <laughs> like twenty two and a twenty three to hit you. Yeah, that does definitely cool. hit. <laughs> hey, okay. been wild if it didn't. Uh, that is three plus. You get six fire damage as from both sides you feel you feel the heat emanating from the laser as it powers up and completely blast you. Uh, and you 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 feel burning sensation across. Ah, all right. And with that, they're gonna, they're gonna stay there. They're not gonna move at all. So that is their turn. It is now Moss's turn. So, <clears throat> excuse me. To try and uh, keep this guy from doing anything else now that uh, he is no longer entangled, I'm going to stay where I'm at and use my free hand to attempt to grapple him. Okay. Nine and three, so 12. Uh, against KAC plus eight. Against KAC plus eight. That is a big number that I'm not even gonna try to do the math on right now because I can't do that. What did you roll total? Uh, 12. It's not gonna do yes. that. <laughs> You're not gonna do it even a little bit. You just hug so him. So I, I try to reach my arms around him, and he shuffles to the side, <laughs> and I go. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, please stop touching me. <laughs> You're tying my shoes. You're hugging me. I just wanted a hug. <laughs> I'm getting so many mixed signals from this entire crew. <laughs> I know. <right>? Psychological torture. <laughs> so that is that turn. It is now his turn. Ooh. I didn't use my move action though. Oh, go ahead. What would you so do? technically, I could. Uh, I will then, <laughs> to try and <laughs> somewhat get to safety, 
uh, I will move down between the two pool tables. All right. And he has his gun out, so he does not get an opportunity to attack. So, cool. You move down, and you are now out of his range. Uh, and he's going to look, look right at you. He goes, it's, I, you're the only one here. And he pulls out his own baton, and he's going to swing it at you. Uh, let me see. There he is. That is a natural 20. <laughs> As he... He, you, see, you see it just ignite, and it is like electric as well, and, and mm -hmm. it blows up. <laughs> uh, as he goes and swings it down at you, uh, and <laughs> got a one on his damage dice. Oh, so man. That, well, it's still 12, 12 damage bludgeoning total as he slams it right into your temple, and you see double for a moment. So is it electricity damage? No, it's just bludgeoning. Gotcha. Electric was me adding flavor, then I realized <laughs> I think you have electric, <laughs> electric uh, ability stuff, so uh, that was on me. But it is just just bludgeoning as okay. you as he whacks you across the temple, uh, and you are able to just you just fully see double. That is his turn. Um, we're gonna, we'll get back to you guys in a moment mm -hmm. here. I'm going to remove yeah. you guys from the initiative for now. Okay. So that is Serafina's turn. All right. Unless you guys want to charge into the room, but it'll take you around to get there. So the I'm guy, in, the, the guy in front of me, the guy behind me is kind of, um, or guy in front of me is taken out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the guy behind me, and I'm just, I have my gun out, and so I'm just gonna try and just shoot him right there in the stomach. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen, and uh, so sixteen. Sixteen. That will definitely hit. All right. So roll, uh, roll your damage. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You're good. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ah, <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> <laughs> two. As you see, you hit. The, are you hitting the same one that you hit before? Hmm. You're hitting the same one that you had hit before. Or the no, the one? guy, the, the, the guy um, behind me. Okay. I guess the other guy. So he, yep, he takes a shot. He looks fine. He just phew, it kind of bounces off of him. And yeah. uh, are you gonna move it all? Uh, with that, um, I'll probably, yeah, let's go ahead and move into up. Like, I'll try to get to red a little, like get in the center of the room. So I kind of, okay. as you move, they do their integrated melee weapons. So they get opportunity attacks against you to try to slam against you. Okay. Uh, so they will. And was two what you rolled or was that your full damage calculation? Uh, it was t two plus my damage, which was three. Okay. Okay. Sorry, okay, okay. three. Still isn't. <laughs> Got it. They still look. Uh, it's, still, yeah, still, still isn't. Cool. Don't worry about that. It still looks cool. Um, that is a uh, fifty against your KAC. That is a fifteen and an eighteen to hit. Okay. Yeah. They both hit. Yeah. Both hit. All right. Cool. Cool for me. I'm having fun. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you see, oof, he gets. Uh, first one does eight bludgeoning damage to you. And the second one does six bludgeoning total. So that uh, is the 12 damage total, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. So 12 bludgeoning damage as they both slam into your you back. You said eight and six. Eight and six, six would be 14. 14. Even better. 14 damage <laughs> as you <laughs> and use that momentum to push yourself forward uh, and get to the center of the room right next to your lovely husband. Okay. And with that, that is your turn. I'm, I'm just going to say um, I'm going to like reserve a an action where we are. And so if we come back to here in two rounds, then I'll have run in. Okay. But, like, but I see what you're saying. So if, in two rounds, you'll burst in the room. Yeah. Got it. Cool. So with that, that is Jess's turn. Okay. Um, I would like to full attack with uh, my swords. All right. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Does a 22 hit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It does. You know, just this is hopefully. This against this guy. <laughs> Ten damage. Ten damage. All right. How is he looking? He is still standing, but he's not looking amazing. Wow. Okay. I'm going so, to hit him a second attack. Yep. Oh, is that natural one? Yep. Cool. <laughs> so you bury it just directly into the ground next to him. It goes right into the tile. Oh, oh. my God. 
<laughs> as as he sidesteps that one, uh, and he's just like <sighs> he's bloodied. He's like he's just out of breath at this point. Now it is uh, this is the top of the order, right? Pretty sure. No, uh, this is this is the two drones now. It is the two drones will now fly. They will fly over one in front of Moss and one in front of Serafina, and they will both uh, try to do a slam attack against you guys as well. So let me see. That a Do I against. Have melee weapon, though? Uh, no, I have my pistol okay. out. Uh, they're, they're entering, so they wouldn't get opportunity to access oh. leaving. Uh, it, so they uh, against Moss. That is a twenty-four to hit, and against Serafina, that is a uh, twelve to hit your KAC. Okay. Um, you miss. hit me, not her. Miss. Got it. So, <laughs> there it is. So, it's, it's your turn. You know, you had some. You did some cartoon fun. Yeah. I don't get real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this robot <laughs> hits you for uh, six damage as it slams into you, okay. uh, and you, you you feel just this. It, it's heavier than it looks, and it, as it hits your spine. <clears throat> so that is their turns. It is now Moss's turn. <clears throat> Time to give some backup to Serafina with these drones. Uh, Thank I you. <laughs> will. I'll start by going after the one next to her that's already damaged. Okay. <laughs> I think I missed. What did you roll? <laughs> five. Okay. Total. Five total. I rolled well, a actually, one. Well, no, no, wait. Add it up. What, how much? No, I, I rolled a one. Five you rolled total. a one. Yeah. You definitely missed yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> no worries. Moss is sad. <laughs> so, all right. You still uh, have your move action. I still have my move action. If you move out of the like square around him, you will get uh, they'll get an opportunity to attack against you. But if you, you that's not, I'm not saying you can't move. I'm just saying you that that will happen. You can use guard Case in point. if <laughs> if you if you really want to move, you can use like the guarded step to move one yeah, square. Yeah, he's looking I was thinking either that or I might, if I don't have a weapon already drawn, can I switch the ammo in it as a reload move action? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will uh, load one of my blue Winnie poison darts into my needler pistol. Cool. For my move action. All right. That is your turn. It is now the fellow's turn. He's going to keep looking at you. He's like, I'm so tired of this dance. <laughs> he's going to swing his baton at you. Uh, it's... What are you rolling? That's another natural 20. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. As he pulls out his baton, and it worked once. It's going to work again. Hit you right in the temple. Uh, let me see. That is 26 damage total to your, to your head as he wails into it. Uh, I, I'm unconscious. I fall You're down. You're unconscious? Yeah. Woo. All you right. You see your friend has and, dropped. And your HP. Oh, your no. stamina and HP have dropped from this? Yes. Dang. Oh, no. Fun. So that is, you are down. So... <laughs> That and we, he's going to use his move action to start moving towards uh, Serafina and uh, and Moss as well, so that he can start trying to help his robot friends here. Man, that really, is Serafina's turn, dude. I got to take somebody out. Um, so since he's everything's right there, looking rough, I'll tell you that. I know it's looking rough. Um, I'm, I'm going to put my uh, gun away and go for my knife and just go for the person there right next to me. Cool. Put my knife. Um, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Are you going for the guy or for the robot? The ro I'm sorry, the drone. The drone. The drone. That hits. That totally hits. Cool. Okay, cool. And I, so. Uh, sorry, I was just going to ask a quick question. Yes. Uh, is there a PA system in the security office? Yes. <laughs> we'll circle back to that. Yes. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Okay, so this is my so three and three, so six, seven. Seven damage. Yep. You, this drone whirls around, is smoking, and collapses and explodes. And that, that one, that drone at the bottom is, or the drone on top is dead. Nice Finally. work, baby. <laughs> so, uh, you have your move action still, right? Uh, you can move yeah. what you want. Um, so, I'll go ahead and I'll help Green 
Um, so I'll move up and kind of get in line of sight with uh, that guy in the screen. Cool, cool, cool. So now it is Jess's turn. So how going down works is you can use, you have three resolve points. You can use one to stabilize yourself so you're at zero right now. Uh, or you can just burn one and not do that. Uh, but if you don't use any resolve points, you die instantly. So Okay. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm going to stabilize. Cool. Okay. So mark off that you've used a resolve point. You are at zero HP, but you are not dying. Okay. So. You, on your next turn, you can use another resolve point to pop yourself back up, but you might get healed from a friend here anyway. Gotcha. Uh, so with that, it is now the other drone's turn. He's going to swing at Moss. He's going to try to slam into you. He will... Hey, guys. We like to have fun around here. <laughs> and I'm not lying when I say I got a third nat 20. <laughs> I... How deep are you Are you using happening. the murder dice? I'm the using the new dice that we got from Norse Foundry that had, was in a candle. So uh, candle <laughs> dice rule. What's okay. the model name? Because I want to buy some of that. <laughs> Black hole something, I think. Don't forget to use the coupon code. Don't forget to use coupon code UGT at checkout to get 10% off your order. Natural <laughs> plug. But, be my uh, I'm going to dice. need my friend Moss to take a total of 14 damage oh. as it slams into the back of your head, right into the cap, and you feel it dent it a little bit. But uh, that, is, that is the only one left, so that is his turn. It is now Moss's turn. How you looking? You know, still got a little bit of energy. Cool. Is there is there space for me to move above? You can move guard? if you move like between up at him all. And the up wall, you will get an opportunity attack from this drone, so he can swing at you again. Uh, but you are that, welcome to the one that the one that just hit you now at the bottom. Well, yeah. That one will try to swing at you. Okay, I thought that the, he had to be right next to me for that. It's you're in the five foot square of him. Anywhere within that is like in the squares around him. Gotcha. Uh, he, you can you can hit. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not just the four. It's all all eight of them. I'm still confused. Uh, the, one, okay. the whole square, the square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw myself as being one tile above that, and yeah. so I didn't realize. Oh. Sorry. And you punched our audience. Yeah, <laughs> out of here. It's so rude. You're a guest on the show. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, when mushrooms will, turn violent. I will move that way anyways to uh, get him flat-footed. Cool. He is going to, yeah, we'll say you can move. There's a space between the sofa and stuff. The drone is going to take an opportunity attack against you here. Okay. Um, great news. It's a two on the dice. <laughs> so Almost not a two on the so <laughs> It just goes whoosh, and it, as you're able to dodge out of the way and move up around the guy. So you still have your standard Excellent. action. Yeah. Uh, all right. So for my standard action, I think I'm going to... Uh, I'll use my semi-auto again on him. Yeah, wow. man. <laughs> <laughs> That's you your know. right. It's your right. As you an know. Absalom ring user, yeah. As a 15 plus You're super four, so 19. Yep, and he's flat footed. All right. Super, super gonna hit. And <clears throat> for damage, we've got uh, four or five. He drops. You see, it just hits him in the back of the head, and he just also crumples completely yeah. as he falls over dead. There is one drone left in here. Eat dirt. So, <laughs> brutal. So, with that, it is now Serafina's turn. Oh. Could I, uh, with the PA system, could I uh, <laughs> come on to it and say, um, attention, security drones, error detected in your code. Uh, please shut down for scheduled maintenance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me... A. <laughs> Give me a computer's check. Oh no! <laughs> and, I roll a, that. and roll a natural twenty, <laughs> and we'll say it works that way. It's funny. No, I'm not gonna do nope, it. Nope, you said it. You have to do it. <laughs> you, no backsies on this one. I, I was considering being like, I want to look to see if there's like a controller yeah. in the office, but I like that you're just like, I'm gonna tell them. Over the <laughs> <laughs> just tell them to stop. Go ahead. Dude, roll, roll me d twenty. Hey Volley, can you help me with this? <laughs> If you want to give a help action to give give her advantage, sure. You're better with these than I, I am. I would, but I don't think I can, because this is when I was going to say I'd come in the, this room. Volley has this. left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Volley okay, is no okay, in okay. the room. Come on. 
Don't fail me now. I believe in you. I love you. Roll again. Oh. What is that? Looks like a four. Two. Two. Oh. There it is. Not a 20. You hear no zero. response, and you hear nothing change at all. Ah. <laughs> so, with that, at the top of initiative, we're actually going to have Valia come in. She had the higher initiative earlier. Okay. Right. So, Valia, you see a lot of dead bodies. Your friend is unconscious. You see, you see a drone destroyed, and one drone still floating there that looks ready to be destroyed. At the one, the, the one that's available. at the bottom. Okay, the bottom, not the one. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, I've snuck on in. I've got the pistol out still. I'm gonna use a sniper attack. Cool. Um, stealth check first. Hey man, straight up, you don't really need to. Okay. You're gonna probably if you hit it, you're probably gonna, <laughs> you're probably gonna get it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the 18 on the stealth check. Okay. Still good. Don't it's, worry. It's flat-footed, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Don't got feet, but sure. <laughs> Did you get in that one? No, I hit a four again. This dice is love. Wait, okay, no, no, four. tell me what the total is. They are weak uh, little drones. Yeah, uh, that's nine, and then plus the two for flat footed for 11. If you burn your bless, you hit his AC exactly. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> and he has two hit points. So I'm definitely gonna kill it. So go ahead and tell me <laughs> so how I, you do it. I just bust on in, I've got the pistol, I'm like, Shoot it. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> and it goes poof, 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 as it explodes. Things did not go according to plan. <laughs> no, they did not. As Volia bursts in and says that, you have completed partially one of your three objectives. <laughs> With that, you've killed men, you've killed robots, you've scared a man. We are going to take a 10 minute break and we will be right back to see this. Insane conclusion oh my God. <laughs> to this insane story. We will see you back in a few minutes. Get up, get some drinks, get to use the bathroom. We will absolutely be doing all of those. So I hope to see you then. Everything's bad. <laughs> everything has gone Welcome to the bad show. Bad. Okay. Welcome back. So, the party was hired to do a sneaking job, has er raised every single alarm yeah. <laughs> that is currently in the building. You have three objectives that you need to do. As this is the refresher, you have three objectives you have to do. Fill the flash drive with information. Clementine is currently in the process of doing that. Destroy the break room that you're currently in, which... You're doing so good so far. So far, so good. And then find his office and uh, and take the small wooden box that is on his on his shelf. So, what is the party up to currently? So, uh, uh, Moss, as a result of everybody in the room finally being done and over Ed. with, decided to start the destruction of the room. Jess is still down, by the way. Yeah, uh, so I, I think I was leaving off. I was going to heal her my last move. I don't think we made it that far. No, you're okay. Go ahead and roll the dice and everything, then we'll, so we'll say what you got in a minute. Yeah. I think it was so, just 1d8. Yeah. One, yes, 1d8. Okay. So what is a... What, uh, what aside one? from the bullet holes in the walls that already exist. Roll, roll, the, roll the dice. We'll you, don't need, you don't need to roll a d20, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's just, just the d8. d8. It's like she's, you're, you're, it's, a, it's a helpful action that you're Which doing. Which one's the... Uh, the or the one with the eight? Two Okay, double pyramid. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's not oh, it. That's a D10. It's it's like a this one. Here it is. There it is. <laughs> we got it, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! Two. Two. You get two hit points back. Thanks. You're welcome. So uh, Moss decides to <laughs> flip some chairs over and release some sticky spores into the air to get all over everything to make it all nasty, uh, and then decides to leave the destruction to everybody else while venturing back into the hallway to explore what other rooms might be around. <clears throat> Perfect. As you're stepping out, uh, what are you guys up to? You're healing. You're coming back up, so you guys are all. I'm gonna handled. follow. Ma I'm gonna follow Moss out, and we're gonna tag team. Cool, Valia. What are you up to? So as I came in, I fired the <laughs> shot. We killed the last guy. I'm just gonna be like, you know, I'm not mad. This was a stealth mission. It could have gone better. <laughs> Definitely. Um, <laughs> just disappointed. And I, I look over in the corner of the room. And I'm like. Oh, it's Mars Attacks Pinball. That's my favorite one. I'm going to put a couple credits in and play around a pinball. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And Mars Attacks is now canon. Yes. Tim Burton is, is, in, is in the Absalom ring. 
and, and, oh and I, need to, I need to check. 10, 70. I do not get a free game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. So, um, yeah. While you're doing that and you guys are stepping out, uh, <clears throat> Clementine, mm-hmm. we'll say that this is all happening in the time between Volia running out of the room and mm-hmm. everyone kind of running back in. Yeah. You have the flash drive, you put it in, you find a port that works, you put it in, and on the screen you see a lot of text come up and eventually it stops and you see archives of old emails. You see three pop up that catch your eye. You see one that is titled, Must Think About Refueling the Ring, (coughs) Collection Vents Error, and Why Are We Doing This? Which one? You you can select, uh, I'd say before they walk into the room and before the thing finally finishes, you have about time to read two of these. Which two okay. would you like to? Um, can you give me the last two subject lines again? The collection vents error mm-hmm. and why are we doing this? Okay. And... <clears throat> okay. Um... Hmm. I am going to read uh, the Refuel the Ring and why are we doing this? Okay, so in the Refuel the Ring, you open it and it is, these are all internal RAM emails. Hmm. First one, it is very, these are all very short and professional and they come out as, the fuel in the ring is nearing its low point. It must be refueled in the next few years. We have to keep this in mind going forward. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm processing. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I'm I'm just gonna be like, oh, oh manure, oh goodness. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm taking down. Notes. And the second one that says, "Why are we doing this?" It says, "Why are we maintaining all of this? It should be Pantheon maintaining the fuel and Dominion protecting it. Why isn't it a joint venture between all of us? We how do we rope them into this?" Hmm. Okay. It's <clears throat> with people always waiting until it gets to empty before you refill. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's bad for your engine if you do that. Yeah. And especially when you're floating around a black hole. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's scary. <laughs> <Real bad. clears throat> so with that, you read those two. The emails close, and the po- a message pops up saying "data collected," and it has a little thumbs up. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a UGT thumbs up. <laughs> so you pull, you pull it out. Uh, UGT canon to this world. <laughs> and as you pull it out, um, what are, are you two? You two walked out. Are you walking into the office with her, or there was the other room that the, had lights on that had some movement happening? In yeah, there? I would like to kind of investigate that room and yeah. and there's a light coming from it does that mean that there's something i can look through to see into the room there's a door it's an open doorway into like what looks like cubicles okay and there's a light coming from the other side of the room so you can like just kind of peek your head in there okay so yeah i'll uh i, I will peek. tell you not much of a reason to be sneaky <laughs> if you're trying to sneak that's I'll, yeah alarms good point. are blaring <laughs> it's a good point uh yeah so i'll i'll just push the door fully open, make my way in, and kind of do a, a check around the room to you see. You see, it is a long room, a little longer than the room you first like entered in with the meeting rooms and everything, and at the end of it, you see a, a small, singular office with the door wide open and the light in there, and you see a human woman kind of quickly scurrying around in the back. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I will go in that room and do a, uh, can I do a diplomacy check for uh, gathering information? Um, to like gather on the, on what she's doing or what, what's the information you're looking to gather? Uh, on what she's doing and what the room is. Um, I will say without even doing, you don't even need to do the check. As you approach the room, you can see that this is the office of Jebediah. And Perfect. you, cause there's a nameplate right next to the door that says Jebediah. And Intuitive. you see <clears throat> outside of this door, there is a smaller desk uh, as if it is for someone to talk to. And you can kind of just, by the way she's dressed, it seems to be her desk. It's his assistant she's, that's right. in the back there. Okay. Um. So she hasn't seen me yet. I'm still disguised as an officer. Maybe I can walk in there first and just say that Jebediah needed me to grab something off of his 
off of his desk and walk in there. Sure. Uh, yeah. Go. Go. What's what? What is it that you say specifically to to her? Okay. So walk in there. Um, hey, there's this flash drive that we need to get back. Um, that we really needed. Um, over in the lounge area. Can I go grab it? Real? I'm gonna grab it off his desk real quick. It's over here behind his desk. He told me where it was at. She looks over at you and she's like, Oh, oh. Um, and uh, again, I don't, we don't super need to roll. She hears the alarms going off. She is completely yeah. frazzled. Like she thinks she's not safe. She sees a security yeah. guy. She's like, Oh, yeah. does this have to do with the, with the, 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 yeah, we have oh. to, yeah, we're trying to take care of this and get the alarm shut off. And there was a little situation in the lounge room, but we got it under control for oh, the most I, part. I thought I was looking for a hiding place. Yeah. Know, it's, okay. You're safe. You're safe. Nothing to worry about. She sits in his chair and just like does this. She's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, 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 what you need. All right, so yeah, go ahead and grab the flash drive. Um, thank you, and walk out. Are you out. grabbing the little wooden box? The that's wooden back box, there? Yep. yeah. The, the, sorry, not flash drive. Wooden box that's sitting up there. Grab it. As and... you reach for the box, you see it is a small wooden box that is ornately written, like has ornate like designs in the top of it, and it has a small latch. The latch is in the shape of a heart, and on the front of it, it says mittens. And next to and next to the box is a photo of a cat that just looks very old. Well, as now you, I as feel you grab bad. the box. Oh. <laughs> that's the box I grab. That's the box. That's the only wooden box that's on his shelf. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mittens. It's, it's your time to fly. <laughs> 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 so yeah, just uh, grab it, walk out. Um, Moss is. I or I see Moss out of the by the door there, um, and yeah. As yep, as you leave, you you, yep. you can close the door behind close you. Close the so, door. Yep. Okay. She she is she's totally safe and she's. She's relaxed. Case, cozy. Yeah, good. You good. all walk out. Is there anything else you guys would like to do before? We're, uh, yeah. Are we? We still have to destroy like the, the break, break room. room further. Yep. I have some things I wanted to do. I don't know. Did you have things you were going to do in there? Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to walk up to the first pool table and I'm going to find the white ball, the cue ball, and the eight ball, and I'm going to pocket them. <laughs> 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 I'm going to walk to the second wait, one and do uh, the same thing. I have another thing I want to do for the other pool table, okay. if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, go, you are, are you it. strong? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> can, can I employ your help to help me just gently lift it over onto its side, like so it's vertical, sort of? Yes. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, then you guys do it. It's fine. Um, I'm going to take out like a, like a little kind of like portable hacksaw <laughs> and saw off like an inch from <laughs> the leg, from, from the feet, on the from two of the feet, from the legs. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And then just put it back down. So while... And, and then also, if there's... Uh, are there any vending machines? Yeah, there's like... A, there's both a, like a uh, not Coca-Cola one and like a cigarette one as well. And not Coca-Cola. And if it's one of the... Like, Space vending, Cola. If it's one of the, uh, the billiards tables that has like the under... Like where the balls all collect sure. at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm gonna pour some soda and shove a bunch of like chips inside the <laughs> tubes. These are the most prank like ways of destroying the lounge. Well, hang on. There's also <clears throat> blood and viscera well, yes. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we didn't necessarily intend for that. <laughs> Anybody have a grenade? <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you can we can stop this with want. one grenade and we'll be done here. <laughs> so while you're sawing off the legs and yeah, I'm going to take my hook sword and there's couches in here, right? How yep. many are there? Like three. Great. Cool. So every single couch cushion, I'm just going to rip the thread so that the cushions just slightly start to come apart. And that's it. <laughs> It is both <laughs> the most horrifying scene. <laughs> Anyone can see you walking into a room and then a slight annoyances <laughs> that take, that take a little bit of time to adjust. Love it. We'll consider it destroyed. <laughs> this, and I, I feel too much respect for the pinball machine, so I'm just going to take a piece of paper right out of order and take it right back. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to waste so much time and money trying to figure out what's wrong with it, too. <laughs> So, with that, you guys, you guys meet up. Uh, you're in the hallway, and, and in the in the center of the hallway is like a long glass, uh, like another pseudo lobby, uh, where you can go in, and at the end of it is an elevator. You take your elevator. Uh, you go down to the lobby, and as the as the lobby doors open, 
you see in front of you is <clears throat> it's just like a nice kind of boring minimalist lobby with a glass glass wall uh, leading to the outside where you see the parade is happening for the hero that is True Sheik, who is the greatest hero that we've ever remembered from the before the gap. He was loved by all. He did nothing wrong that we've like ever know of. And he has this, this that's why it's called True Day, is True Sheik Day. So you see this giant float of this lizard man just going by and all the people outside are just going crazy. He's from before the gap? He's from before the gap. He's the one thing that remembers before the gap. As you begin to walk out, we are going to flash back a little bit, two days before you guys got your job. And in the office that you guys had just robbed, we see Jebediah talking. He's just rambling and he's going, I know with my entire heart that little twerp Dalton is about to take and make take things and make my life miserable as he places his hand on the on the, on the wooden box of the cat. He goes, this man is the most immature, petulant, despicable child who knows nothing but privilege and his own self-interest. I need you to stop whatever is about to happen and do whatever you can to prevent it. Do I make do I make myself clear, Jezebel? Yes. Clearly. We now flash back to the current moment in the lobby. Jezebel, what is it you you would like to do? Uh, did we accomplish all of our tasks? And as I'm talking, I'm going to take my uh, ser serum of healing, and I'm going to heal myself for 1d8. Go for it. One point. <laughs> Big numbers over here. We're totally here. Okay. Did we get everything? Did we do everything? I got the I box. Think so. I got the flash drive taken care of. Perfect, perfect. And then the lounge is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Seems awesome. like a mission complete to me. Yeah, absolutely. Is only one person returning to Bert? Uh, Bart. 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 Mm, sorry. Yeah, I call him Bart. Um, I figured all of us would. Uh, that's usually how I do things. Um, I don't know how, how y'all do things. Um, Let's go together. Yeah. yeah. As that happens, <laughs> Jezebel, do you hit the button that's in your pocket? I do. You see behind you guys, you hear a whirling as gears and motors start, and the wall opens up, and in there is a large, white, clean, beautiful-looking destroyer mech suit that is designed <laughs> to not only kill, but eviscerate. Jess, what do you do? I suggest you give me that box and that flash drive. What? <laughs> and as I say that, I wait with my hands out. I you don't low I down. I know how the turntables. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> After mm. a beat, do you guys give it to her at all or no? No. No, over my dead body. Don't hand After it over. a beat, you hear buzzing. Mass buzzing as the vents that were next to the air conditioning events open up and large continuous swarms of those drones that you just fought are now swarming up and surrounding the, the mech itself. You've made your choice and I'm going to lower my hands. <laughs> I'm going to start floating up towards the mech. <laughs> I pull out my gun. You yeah. pull out your gun and you see every single drone turn red and ignite their laser in response pointed directly at you. Mm. You have two options in front of you as a group. Stay and fight or run like hell. I think I honestly think we have a better chance of running because if we get out yeah. the building we've, we've got the crowd and the balloons and yeah. everything for cover. I, I clamber up onto Bali's shoulder and I'm like, time to run, time to run. <laughs> this is a great time to run. <laughs> With that, we will enter a new mechanic that I am modifying a bit from Starfinder Standard once. This is a chase mechanic. Normally, this is used for things in uh, like combat in vehicles. We did it similarly in season one. You guys are going to be running on foot through this parade to try to get away. Now, what you do know from the layout of this and from scoping a little bit beforehand, 
there is a subway station directly across the street, across from the parade, with like a staircase that goes down directly into it. This mech is about eight feet tall, 12 feet wide, has like gun for hand, it is just made to kill. It is not gonna fit down that, that subway uh, staircase. That is your best bet to get out of here alive. With that, what we're going to do is instead of doing initiative, we're gonna have two things. We're going to have my good friend Michaela, <laughs> who this will <laughs> represent. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna randomly choose a color here. This will represent you guys. You guys will take your actions first, and then you will, uh, then Michaela will take hers. Michaela has a special stat block that I gave her <laughs> to, to be utilizing here. So, so, <laughs> this, how this will work. There are five phases in this currently. You are all in phase one, or I'm sorry, in section one. There's five sections. You are in the lobby. You have to get through five things. You're getting to five to win. Number one is the lobby. You can use your move action to get up to the second one, which is the crowd that is outside. Uh, there are bonuses and debuffs and, and, and environmental things that will happen while you are in these moments. I will tell you what happens when you get into these sections. So it is lobby, the crowd outside, the parade floats itself, the police barricade, and the, um, and the subway. So you can actually escape. Can you go over that list one more time? Yes. Lobby, crowd outside, parade floats, police barricade, Subway station. Nice. Cool? Mm -hmm. So, you guys can act. I, there's, I'm not going to have you roll initiatives. You guys can roll. You guys can choose who goes first and everything. The only, the only contingency here is you're not going to be able to dash unless it is through the parade floats. There's too many people in both the crowd that's in front of you and too many people at the police barricade protecting it from stopping people from doing things exactly like this. So, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? Okay, uh, so I, uh, I am, like, holding on to Valia with my Elfan tendrils and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, am I going to have to, like, make strength checks or anything to hold on, or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did I ask? It's like, it's like <laughs> asking the teacher about the homework. <laughs> it is, it's almost exactly like that. So, yes, you will have to do that. Especially in these, uh, these are not going to be the most easy of things to get through. These can hurt you. And so you will have to be doing checks to do that. So, well, for now, Valia, or er, uh, Clementine is on the back of Valia. What are you three doing? Uh, I don't know if this is neat. It's Can I fire a shot at Jess before I turn and run? Yeah, it, it will be. She is now in the robot. So you can oh, try to fight. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. While, while you pulled out your gun, the lasers were fo focused on you. That's when she lifted up and engaged into the suit. Yeah, if she's already in, then I think we'll... Just, I'll, I'll just run with her up with climb on my back. Cool. So you'll use your move action to go from phase one or from section one to section two. You are now in the crowd. Um, make me a strength saving throw. Okay. Saving throw. I'm gonna say it is a mm. DC 17. It is a high it is a fairly high one. Okay. I believe in you. I love you. Okay. Okay. Uh. I don't make that one. Nope. All right. I don't. So you fall off. You are still in section one. I will let you still have your movement. You just don't okay. have a standard action. All right. I'm hustling. As soon as I hit the ground, I'm like. All right. You are now in section one. It... You mean section two? Section two. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait. So where where is she now? She used her stand. Right she you. used her movement to get in. This. She's in the same section as you are. She okay. fell off. Okay. Either. Yeah. Because yeah. if she fall, fell off, I would have stopped. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't like. It would have been like right as you get in the crowd is when okay. she falls off. Cool. So, Jess, what are you doing? Um, or uh, Sarah? Uh, yeah, I'm running out with them. Yep. Cool. So you had, there's no obstacles yet. So you are in this area. Yep. Uh, and what are you? What are you? What is Moss up to? <clears throat> yep. Moss also will bust those doors open and head out to the street as quickly as possible. Perfect. That is your guys' turn. What is Jez Jezebel doing? I say loudly enough that I hope that they can hear me, and I say. I'm gonna give you a head start and count to ten. One, two, three. Just kidding. And I'm going to cast Jolting Arc, okay. and it's going to hit all four of them if I succeed. Okay. Um. So I think I need a reflex DC from everybody to yep. see if Turn you succeed this attack. What does it say? What the DC is or no? 
Uh, yes, it does. It says 13 and a half. 13 and a half? Mm-hmm. It's 13 Starfinder, and a half. Starfinder, please, dude. <laughs> I'm I guess, you. I guess it that's saying, It doesn't like, say half. It just says 13. Okay, okay. <laughs> it just says 13. <laughs> I, would even, I, would, I didn't even doubt you. Like, that's how you much like, I'm... so cool. Uh. <laughs> okay. So I rolled a three. You rolled a three? With, the, with the adding your reflex save? With six. Uh, so eight. Eight, okay. Nine. Nine. Or sorry, 11. Yeah, five plus six, 11. Can't okay. math, obviously. Okay. Got 18 on the die, uh, plus five, so that's 22. No, 23. You, you pass. Yeah. Synthetic 20. Synthetic 20. So two passes, two fails. Okay. What, 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 what happens to them? <clears throat> <clears throat> so I lift up the, not gun, but the other arm, and it kind of looks like a cannon, and I just, I just like press a button while I'm inside, and electricity arcs through Clementine and Valia, and then hits Moss and Serafina for seven points of electricity damage. How's everyone right. looking? So that took away my whole, from the... 14 that I had left over from last time, so my stamina is gone yep. from a zero. So, so you're you sub HP, so you're still standing. You're yeah, still I'm good. still standing. Okay, I'm just making yep. sure. How's Moss looking? Still standing, but that did hit my HP a little bit and took okay. out my stamina. All right, so everyone's still fine so far. Yeah. It's fine. So are you you still? That was your standard action. You still have a move action. Yes, I'm going to move into the crowd. All right, you're in the crowd. So with that, the crowd. Ooh. Soli has t- tipped everyone uh, 4v1. No way, that's fair. Give <laughs> give my girl Jezebel some love. Uh, and I think that is a hero point. So, <laughs> Jezebel gets a hero point. You can now re-roll. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Soli. <laughs> How could you? Spicy. We were friends. <laughs> Oh. oh, we are friends. So with that, you are got anyone who is in phase two. Did you guys? You guys all moved up to phase two, mm-hmm. right? Cool. So what this means now is you now have a plus two to AC, but you have a minus three to attack because there are so many people. It's easier. It's easier for you to be in there. Uh, and yeah, no. So yeah, that works. See, they did four dude saving throws, not for your attack roll. So uh, they have a minus. You anyone who doesn't attack, who's trying to shoot back at there or do anything like that, they get a minus three. So with that, it is your guys' turn. If you want to, you can use your standard action to try to dash through the parade part of it. Uh, or you can just use one movement and keep going. How many movements is it to get to the next? Two movements. So it'd be one standard, one movement to get to the next <laughs> section. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I missed this in the beginning. No, it's um, okay. Can I use a standard to shoot and then the move? Just a, just a regular movement? Yep. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. You would just be standing in all the floats at the end of your turn. So, okay, so I would. I, I'm in the crowd, but I'd still just be in, like in the middle. You'd of be the in the middle of the actual parade itself. Okay. And you said uh, that we can dash through the floats. You can dash through the floats. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um. <laughs> so you, as you pass through this uh, uh, section three, uh, make me a reflex saving throw. Okay. DC right. 22. You did a great job. I believe in you. I love you. <laughs> All right. Um, what was the DC again? 22. Uh, 10. That ain't going to do it. You are going to, as you are dashing through, you're not getting stopped, but you are going to be taking eight bludgeoning damage. Oh. As one of the floats is not able to stop in enough time, is this large float of what looks like a cave, and True Sheik is walking out of a guy who's dressed just like him, is walking out of with like a sword in his hand, and it, it, it hits the side of you. You do some spins. But you're able to keep moving. You are now at the police barricade. He probably didn't even see me. No. <laughs> They're focused on the huge robot that is smashed yeah. through the wall of a building. What's a lolly like this big? Is Jez close enough to run a combat maneuver since it's um, melee before moving? So, okay. Yes. But they're in a big robot, and they, they are much tougher than they mm-hmm. than they were before. So you're welcome to try to do things, but it might not turn out super duper for you. But again, you are welcome to. I, I will not stop you from doing it. And uh, am I uh, in section three now? You are in phase, you dashed through, so you are now okay. in phase four. Okay, okay. Phase four or five. Oh. 
Cool. And actually, um, let me see. Clem, get, Clem gets a hero point. There was, there was some miscommunication. So it's one to you and then one to you as well. Okay, Sully. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. So uh, who's, who's going next? I'll go. Moss will go next. Uh, he's going to attempt a dirty trick of picking up a rock okay. and jamming it into the joint at the bottom of the robot okay. to keep it from being able to uh, walk. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it what is it? K K A C plus eight. Yeah. Uh, which we are at fifteen. Uh, it's not. No, going I'm to sorry. Pass. Fourteen. It does not. So even less. <laughs> it's not it going to pass. Not. That was your All standard right. action. You still yep, have your move so action. So then I will use my move action to move on to the floats. You are now in the parade section. <laughs> Welcome to the fun bit. <laughs> uh, make me a reflex saving throw. DC twenty-two. All right. Uh, 16, so no. It's nope. not going to hit. So, parades mm. are going to another float is coming down. This time it's a marching band, and they are <laughs> blaring music, and they just completely crash into you for you. another max damage of eight damage Ugh. as they slam into you, Ugh. and you hear a tuba go <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as you get hurt. That impression was so good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I worked God. on it for years. Uh, uh, so who's, who's uh, what's yeah. Serafina doing? So, um, I can just dash, like, I have, like, I'm high in my, uh, my athletic class and stuff. So like, can I do like a like a sprint or? So the sprint, you would give up your standard action to do it, which you can do now. So like, if you wanted to do like an attack, or if you want to try to heal someone, then you couldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, no, this I'll just want to sprint. I want to get to the next level. Cool. So you are moving up there with Clem. Make me a uh, DC twenty two reflex saving throw. All right. <clears throat> Five and ten. Ain't gonna do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with that. Uh, I'm running out of float ideas. There's a car with the mayor in it, and it's a convertible, <laughs> and he's just waving. And seven <laughs> damage as the car slams into you. I am oh, going to switch man. my dice because I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, oh. these new oh. dice are like, we heard about the murder dice, and we want to make a good first impression. <laughs> this, I have this, I'm using... This is only rolled twos and fours. I'm retiring that one for now. So, so <laughs> moving on. Well, you are now in the police barricade section, so okay. uh, you are not going to at risk of getting hit again. I still okay. need to run across. You still need to run across. Yeah. So are you just doing that full dash or just the one? Yeah, I think I'll do a full dash. Cool. Uh, reflex can, saving throw. Can I use um, my skills at slipping through things to do an acrobatics That's escape I check instead? I will tell you no, but that's because that will come up in a moment when you <laughs> when <laughs> acrobatics will be important in a minute here. Okay. okay. So, cool. My time to shine! <laughs> this is it. Alright, well, that's still a 17 on the die plus 6. 17 on the die plus, 20, yep, that does it. So you you completely are able to still swerve out of the way. You see more parade floats, you see a bunch of, like, it's the people holding the balloons and you're able just to just kind of like walk through them a bit, Frogger style, and get to the police barricade. They barely notice. I'm At the barricade, it is a concrete, like, half slab with a fence on it, mm -hmm. uh, and there are a couple cops on the side. So that is what you guys will have to deal with next. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Jazz. So Jezebel. I'm located in the crowd, correct? You are currently in the crowd in a large, uh, large robot. Mm -hmm. Crowd? Freaking out. Not super thrilled about this. <laughs> as, as they are starting to run and kind of disperse, you don't have the minus two or the plus two, but you also don't have the minus three because you tower above them all. Okay. Um, but everyone is a little too far ahead now with everything going on, so you would need to move one before you can attack any of them. That's perfectly fine. I plan on moving on uh, into the next stage of this uh, cool. combat. So you are now, are you going up two or are you going up one? Two would put me in the floats. Two would put you in the in, at the barricade with them. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna go up two. Okay. Okay. Make me a reflex saving throw. All right. So this hero re-roll token. You can uh, you can use that now and re-roll the dice to get whatever result you get. I am going to do that now. Perfect. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that? Uh, it's a seven on the dice. Nice. Um, and then what would it be? Uh, there should be a thing here. up there that says reflex at the top. Oh, saving throws. She's got a stat block, so it's a little different. Oh, okay. Uh, it should just say R-E-F. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. 14. 14. Ain't gonna do it. <laughs> uh, you only get four damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As the same mayor's car slams into you and spins out. Just switch the dice too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is just right. I don't know what you're talking about. We are now <laughs> up at the, uh, the police barricade. Now, in order for you guys to move on, you will need to make a successful acrobatics checks. You are able to help each other if you want, but if you do the help, you will stay in the police barricade section still to get someone over. It is, think of this as like the wall between the next phase. Mm. Makes so sense? I, uh, I'm still at the float stage. Could I technically move and then use my action to help someone over since I wouldn't be able to dash through too? Yeah, yeah, I would let you do that. Okay, so I'll go first and I'll do that. Uh, who would we like to get through the barricade first? I'm pretty high on mine, so yeah, maybe someone. I'm kind of acrobatic. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, um, so Valia. I guess. I think I'm okay. Maybe. Yeah, you're, uh, save it for I'm, something I'm, else yeah, then. Or just you could hold. Could you hold the action? Uh, yeah, you can hold the action. So yeah, if, if one of us fails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'll, I'll do. You're, I'll, you're prepping that. So, so. I'll, I'll. Yeah. Cool. The, TBD. This is yeah. if we need your help. <laughs> it is a DC 25 <laughs> acrobatics I'm going to need your help. <laughs> you're at DC 25, so I got you're doing help, so you get advantage on this roll then. Oh, awesome, awesome. Oh, and I have a hero point too. Ooh. Yes, okay. So that is a 17 on the die plus 7, so that's a 24. Ooh. Do you have a bless? Uh, no. No, you are one short from oh. passing it. Come on, hero token. Don't, yep. don't fail <laughs> me now. That's it. <laughs> Come on. I believe in you. You're doing great. I love you. Uh. Natural one. <laughs> Before we started the stream today, Riley was like, yeah, I have really good RNG. <laughs> <laughs> throw me under the bus like that. I just wanted to remind you. <laughs> so yeah, you wound. try clamoring up and, and Moss is there to help you for a moment. And then as you get up the, up. the <laughs> you're standing on it and it's just, you're not used to this. It's a little squishier than you thought. Yeah. You just fall back. Yeah. And like that, fall that is that you will not be able to move on to the next section. What are you two up to? Um, I'm going to try to jump over. I'm going to try to jump over the barricade. Cool. Big right. acrobatics check. Yep. So five, eleven, so uh, sixteen. Sixteen, not gonna do it. I fall down. <laughs> Beef, are there like police at this barricade? Yeah, they're freaking out and starting to pull their guns out to fire at the okay. big ass robot. All right, well, if they're already doing that, then I don't need to tell them my made up story about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> they're already, they're already, There's already a thing us. causing a lot of disturbance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Like oh they're th an ex employee going rogue you gotta help us um, okay don't um, question why we have guns over um, Dang. that's fifteen plus uh, athletics yeah twenty seven and I've got a bo other bonuses too super got it so you're able to quickly just like crawl your way just up and crawl down I have experience in this kind of thing <laughs> uh, so you can move or you can stay there to help other people get the boost. And I will say the more people that help, the more like circumstances bonuses you'll get to, to do that. Yeah, I'd probably have to stay and help Clem. Cool. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so that is everyone, right? Because you failed? Yep. I failed. Yep. So, Jess. All right. I am in the police barricade, correct? You're at. The, you're right in front of it. Right in front of you it. You don't need to do an acrobatics check. You can just break the thing if okay. you choose to. Mm, interesting. Um, uh, as I'm approaching, uh, I'm going to uh, put my hands up kind of like in a surrendering way, and I'm gonna scream to the police officers, help me stop these thieves. Mm. <laughs> and as I scream <clears throat> that, I'm going to uh, jolting arc all four of them again, because they're all on this side of the fence, correct? How many of those do you uh, have? <laughs> um, <laughs> three of us are, you're over, right? It says once every 1d4 round, so oh, I- Oh, so roll a d4, okay. so you did one, and now- So I don't do that. Okay, yeah, there you go. Um, and, uh, Who's 
who would be right in front of me? Everyone is right in front of you that's not Valia, who's yeah. on the opposite side of a, like a, a oh, chain link fence. Months. So, you know, gotcha. like not much <laughs> separating. Okay. Uh, so as I scream that, um, I am going to lock eyes with uh, Serafina and I am going to make a uh, slam attack. <gasps> Go for it. Does a 15 hit? Uh, 15 is my number. So, or, yep, that means it. Yep. Okay. okay. Ooh. Yeah, ouch. Intense. You see a massive towering, just, robot, just <laughs> a horrifying mech just coming charging at you. I was so lightheaded from the shock of the plot twist. <laughs> like, 10 damage. I was lightheaded for like the first two rounds of this. <laughs> I'm almost out there, guys. <laughs> All right. I'm dragging my leg behind me currently. <laughs> You've got your move still. Are you wanting to move or you want to stay put? I'll stay put. Smart. Tactical, even. Hmm. What are you guys up to these days, huh? Uh, it, it, first, it's... I pass my stim pack to you oh, so thanks. you can heal yourself. Um, and then I'm going to try and scramble up that fence So again. how much do I heal? It's a D8. Yeah, uh, D8. So roll, oh. roll D8, whatever number you get. Okay. Seven. Okay. Thank you. No problem. So, woo -hoo! Not Ooh, single right. digits anymore. So, Volley, help me! <laughs> so, what are you guys up to? <clears throat> Can I try to leap over the fence again? <laughs> uh, yep, you use your move action to try to get up. Uh, DC 25, acrobatics. All right. Or athletics. I'll do either one. I'm going to do acrobatics. That's cool. So, six, 17. 17. Nope. Damn it. If anyone wants to help, you give advantage. Uh, two people help, you get advantage and a plus two circumstance bonus. Man, my rolls are just bleh. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I mean, so, I'll help with Clem. Are you You'll also help Clem? helping or uh, yeah. are you working on getting over the fence too? I'll help as well. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I really that way we can guarantee it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can help too, right? Like uh, three, then two, then one. <laughs> You can give. A, I would say you can give. Could you use your? No, you use your standard to heal yourself, and then gotcha. you use your move. Right. So okay. next next time, you absolutely can give your standard uh, okay. to do it. Um, and you said with two people helping, it's a plus two circumstance bonus. Advantage and plus two circumstance bonus. Okay. All right. So. Um, I'm giving you a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> First roll was a thirteen on the die. Second is a four. We're going with 13. Uh, 13 plus seven, synthetic 20 plus two, so 22. What was the DC? 25. Oh, so <laughs> close. So close again. All right. Who's <gasps> moving? Tendrils. All right. I'll, uh, I'll try just going for it with acrobatics. I'm going to try and help. Nope. <laughs> can I help? You can help just... so you get advantage. You can yeah. reroll, take the higher number. Oh, because yeah. you only used your move. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Did not help. <laughs> I try to scale the fence, and instead I jump and face plant into it, and oh. then slowly peel off and fall back. Oh no! Okay. <coughs> Leave it behind a little score are... print on the <laughs> fence. <laughs> what, is, what is your plan here? Um, if you want to do anything you can in general to try to aid the we get over, that's totally fine is, too. Is, is the um, yeah, I just have a question about her mech. Is it like a like a I don't know like a clear windshield? Like how? Yeah. What is? Yeah, it's like you can kind of clearly see into where she is, like piloting it. Mm. Uh, and then it's like a bulbous white pill shape that has the like arms that pop out and fire the fire mm. the weapons. Okay. You're in an egg. Um, <laughs> and what what kind of barricade is it? It's like fence, uh, right? it is a concrete barricade oh. with a chain link fence on top. Mm. Okay. Um. If only we had your liquidator. Why did you have to betray us? <laughs> <laughs> Why must you be evil? Uh, so I, I'm, I'm assuming then that it's like it, it would be pretty difficult to just like you know try to pull the fence down, right? You can try. I, it's, it is a it is a chain link fence that has been like quickly built to just for this parade. So okay. you you can try to pull it down. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, oh. That would be. I mean, it, it would have to be a strength check. Yeah. Which I am not good at. If you have a rope or something that you want to try to like lap, like lasso through and pull down, I would give you a cert, like a plus two circumstance bonus. Yeah. We can guess you have a rope as yeah. part yeah. of the the sneak that in would tool. Make sense. Okay. So yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, that's just a twelve. My strength is zero, so fourteen then. Give a bless. Yes. Or 
No, I think we used it. We used it? Yeah. DC 15, I would have given it to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so. <sighs> you guys but in the hiding, not the strength. <laughs> Jess, your turn. Isabel, what are you up to these days, huh? Seeing Clementine struggle so hard to get over this fence I, and then helping out their friends, I just don't like it. I'm going to... I can't die. That'll disrupt the cannon. <laughs> I'm going to make a slam attack against Clem as no. well. Go ahead. Dang. If you die, this ends up just being a dream. <laughs> Does a 27 hit? <laughs> yes! <Ooh. laughs> mm. Oh, no! Uh, I am small. Have mercy. I am small. Okay. Eight points of damage. Okay, okay. How's Clem looking? Good. Uh, I still have stamina. <laughs> That's good. Oh, so you're fine then. Okay, yeah. yeah boss is down to like, yeah. boss is, <laughs> yeah, we're feet are like HP. Yeah. All right. Question. Yeah. Because uh, that was only one attack, can I do a full attack and attack a second time? Totally your call. I'm going to say no, because you would have had to take the minus four penalty, and we didn't ah. do that. Ah. That is correct. So, uh, uh, next turn, absolutely. Great. It wouldn't have made a difference, though. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm helping you. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm yes. to help you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> that is your guys' turn once again. What would, All you, right. what would you consider, like, if I like wanted to take, like, a rock and try to, like, plug up her cannon and her... And her uh, like her gun or something to make it not usable. What, what would that? What skill would that be under skill check? Ooh, asking the tough questions. <laughs> um, that would be that an engineering check. Engineering. That wouldn't technically be a combat maneuver. Um, that would be a combat maneuver. Like you would need. I would say you just need to do your standard action to to do that. Mm. But that would take an engineering check. Uh, I would say that's mm. that's what it would do. Because okay. I don't know if there's a combat maneuver of put rock in gun. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like I, know, right? I don't think. Thing. Um, I don't know how good your throne attack is. Um, it's uh, no. under the melee and range. Yeah. It's two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't go ahead and the engineer and check it. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Okay, let's give it a go, guys. Six, and then engineering is three, six, eight, nine. Nine, that's not going to do it. As you just hug this the ro rock. The rock just flies by her gun. I totally missed it completely. You hit a guy who's in the march. Yeah, goes, I hit Ow! casualty. You hit a pedestrian. Yep. All right. Why was Does... he still marching? He's dedicated. So True like, Sheik would keep marching. Give that man a raise. So panicked, can I try to make a run for the... Yep, you can do a movement action. All if right. anyone wants to give up their, uh, their action to do it, they can help. Before deciding on that, does this barricade have any type of gate that might have, that might have a lock? Reception check, is there a gate around here? I was a reaction in this, for the sake of time. I will say you can get a perception check to look for a gate. Cool, but I'll, I'll wait my turn on yeah, that one. Yeah, go ahead, do, yeah. Your, do your thing first. Oh, sorry. Oh, but it didn't count. There we go. Uh, five, and it was for... Yeah, it's not gonna. No, you yeah. Hit 20, unless you have a plus 20. You know, that's not yeah, no, it's a lot. Yeah, no. All right. If you want a perception gate, perception for a, a gate, For right. any type of gate that might be unlockable by something on the police officers, well... Uh... My brother, I need seven. you to start rolling better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need you to roll so much better. Those dice can sense when you're stressed, I swear. <laughs> I'm giving you every opportunity. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, and I'm going to say again, that was a free action to do that, to like look around quickly. So you still have your standard action and your move action. What would you like to do? I am going to use my move action with acrobatics to try and do a flip over the barricade. Oh, barricades. Who, is anyone going to help? Uh, I'll help. Yeah, you're giving up All your right. standard action to help. So we got eight. The help is... Uh, you is that advantage? Roll again, right? Okay. 14 plus six, so 22. Oh! <laughs> and Why? This, this gate is looking rickety. Uh. Valia is looking like she's getting close to pulling it down. <laughs> but okay. That uh. is that. Who's next? Okay, let me try. Let me try. Um, are you going to help me? Yes. Awesome. I have, I'll use my standard action to help. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, that's... First, first one is a 15 on the die, plus 7 is uh, 22. 22. And should have made a 22. Realizing that now. We should have made a DC of 22. Yeah. You know, we, learn, we live and we learn, you know. <laughs> uh, 
Note to self, don't bonk the dice against the blessed uh, die. <laughs> uh, right. So the best I can do is a 22. 22. Not going to quite make it. Molly, what's your move here? Um, I want to uh, try to provide covering fire for Clementine and just fire off a shot to Sure. Defense. Yeah, sure. <sighs> 12 plus 5, 17. It's a DC 15. So yep, you do it. She gets plus 2 of AC against any next attack. Thank you. Sweet. Nice. There you go. So is that everyone? Mm-hmm. All right. We are very close, gang. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> We're so close. Michaela, what would you like to do? Moss is trying to help people, and I just really, really don't like that. <laughs> so I'm going to attack Moss with a slam attack. All right. Does a 14 hit? It does not. Hey. Oh. So as you see this mech is charging at you, you pounce off the fence for a second, you go whoop, and you step to the <laughs> side. And you see that as you hit the fence instead, it now is beginning to weaken and it slumps over a little bit. Fence is still standing. Is but that going to lower the GC if it's at an angle? Just a little bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Thank with you. that, is now you still have your move action. What would you like to do? Still have my move action. Okay. The jam in it is parade. I'm going to <laughs> this parade is a rave. Back up from the fence. Okay. And then I'm going to back up 15 feet, and I'm going to get into like a crouching position, and I'm just going to stay there. All right. Mm. That's suspicious. Michaela's charging mm-hmm. a super move. I'm guessing or <laughs> Some, something. <laughs> so that is that is that it is now your guys' turn. Fence okay. is looking slumped. All right. It is both easier to climb or pull down. Is it? Would it be possible mm. to either do something like have her like try to climb halfway up, and instead of having to go the full way over, or if I could help pull her as well? Can I we guess all I could combine, just try to help. Can we all help combine climb our that would be like what the help actually okay. would do. Yeah. Yeah. If we all like combine and grab the so, the, the, the we all fence. use uh, yeah, three we all use our standard over, action right? to like take the fence down. Yeah, I would let you guys do that. I absolutely let you guys do okay. that. Okay, because it, it is now weakened in a weakened yeah. state. So okay, so go ahead. Yeah. And roll. So uh, everyone roll strength checks, and I will uh, determine what that DC is in a minute. Six, seven, sixteen, nine, seventeen, sixteen. Yeah, that with the lowest roll being a nine and everything else being sixteen, <laughs> seventeen. You guys are able to just fully shoulder check. Volley, it's a little awkward for you because you're on the other side. Yeah, I'm just pulling. I'm like yeah. just trying to use the little weight I've got. But you guys are able to check into it and tumble over. You still have your move action, and you Excellent. can now dodge your way through to the subway station. Okay. Yes, let's go. Go to the subway. As yeah. that. Michaela, I'll give you one last turn. What do you do? Okay. So No it, more barricade. It has been uh, the correct amount of rounds to use Jolting Arc, and I'm going to attack everyone again. Go ahead. I need a DC of 13. Reflex save. You guys are on the stairs as you feel this. Do we get partial cover? I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's lightning. It knows what it wants. So we need a, a 13 reflex. 13 or more. Yes. Yeah. Can I say I'm using escape for this? What does that do? Um, I don't know what the actual definition is, but it gives me a bonus to... Sure. Yeah, you're escaping. You'll, you're the first one down, we'll say. I probably needed that. What is everyone's role? Mm-hmm. I see a lot of pained faces that side of the table. Uh, Seven. Ten. Seven. Three on the die, so uh, eight. Eight. Wow. Ten. Ten. Uh, uh, Fourteen, and then the bonus. Six. So I think I made it. Ooh, got Whoop. that one. Volley is on, is on fire today. I just want to uh. leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just want to get out of here. Okay. All right. He's mad we got we got caught upstairs. <laughs> she, by the way, Bali is a girl. Oh, that's right. Yeah. She's okay. mad. Okay. Yes. Uh, one point of damage to everyone who failed. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> one point of damage. It grazes my arm. We are alive and kicking. <laughs> That tickled. <laughs> At that, you guys feel the hair on the back of your neck stand for a minute. You feel your spores. <laughs> for me, it's like your the pedals leaves. like get a little bolt of electricity to the veins. Uh, and you guys escape down the subway station as you hear police helicopters and you hear lots of armored men coming to take over that. What is the mech? What does Jess do before the mech is taken over? 
Uh, I'm just going to uh, just let the the top of the mech open and put my hands up and say, I was trying to stop some thieves. They ran that way. And I'm going to point to where everybody ran. As you guys run, you hear the cops uh, uh, getting around her. They saw some people had gone down and they, they go down to look more, but they are way more focused on, on her. You are able to fully escape, jump on a subway train, right? As it, the doors are closing and you all right off you have fully completed your mission yeah <laughs> we didn't die you did it all <laughs> we did it with that we die, after guys. you meet the drop point at where Barthens, uh Barthen asked you to he thanks you for your job uh, he apologizes profusely for there being a mole and he's like I will do so much better next time to make sure that that never happens again over my dead body Okay? Uh, you owe me big time. It better be over your dead body. And trust me, I would. <laughs> if I were to die, which would be crazy, <laughs> then I would die and have gone to hell without completing your death. Yeah, come, come on, where, where are you finding these people? There's a reason I generally like to work alone. <laughs> I just thought, you know. Giving me a job with strangers. Space Craigslist looks pretty good, you know? <laughs> like it's, you got to get better resources to vet. I, I want a stable crew, okay? You know what? I'm going to get an assistant, a little lady, who will be yeah. able to help me get these, figure out who I can I hire. Did you even call their references? <laughs> but not stealth much. may not be my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> With that, you guys get after a after a day, you get wired your credits to your secrets accounts. You now see that Jazz has ended up on the shit list of of the of the uh, of the lorries, and that completes Secrets Between the Stars: Cat's Cradle. <laughs> I put you guys through the ringer on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that was an adventure. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, our one shot. Thank you to Jess, yeah. Michaela, and Taylor Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for yes, having us. Yes, it was us. a blast. This is Taylor awesome. Taylor made that hat today. <laughs> he put <laughs> so much Literally. Effort. It looks so you good. You know, got to rep the mushroom status. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining. I really appreciate you guys coming on. And, thank you. Uh, do this with us. Uh, thank you guys for watching at home. If you want thank more, you. we have uh, plenty more coming up. Monday, we have Malevolence which is our uh, spooky haunted house show where Sully GMs, me and Riley will be on that show along with a couple others. Uh, Corey actually, will be right I, here. I'll be right here looking like a goth. <laughs> I actually won't be there this week. So I will. <laughs> You're on vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I'll be in the mountains of Georgia. <laughs> What's Enjoy, man. I don't know. It's not my call. <laughs> <laughs> I said, see you, dorks, and I left. <laughs> so, you learned with how that, to frog camouflage. <laughs> we, have, we have that. Saturday, we are going to be having another little sit, sit down chat about something coming up. Uh, and uh, soon we will be having Strange Aeons will be returning at some point. Uh, we have a lot more coming up that I cannot even talk about. Secrets Between the Stars Season 2 is coming. It is coming very soon. There will be an official release date. It will be the original cast. Yeah, while I do love you guys, and thank you so much for <laughs> joining, <laughs> we have made dedications to the previous <laughs> cast. So uh, they will all be back in Season 2. It will be a full-length one as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. We have social media. If you want to follow us on uh, Twitter or X, whatever it's called, the dumb website that nobody likes anymore, we, <laughs> fought, we are we are on there at UGT Show, uh, there Instagram, uh, Facebook, all all of that, the big ones. Uh, we have a YouTube channel where we post uh, videos sometimes, and we put, have a YouTube vods if you want to go back and watch everything else. Uh, if you want to murder your party, you know where to get your dice. If you want to get get, get <laughs> candle dice from from Norse Foundry code UGT show, I said it wrong earlier. Sorry, Norse Foundry, uh, to get ten percent off your total order. Oh, uh, and yeah, that's that's everything. Thank you guys so much for uh, for joining. Thanks for watching. Thank we'll you. see Thank you guys you. next time. Bye. Bye.